Happy Sweet Sixteen. Ooh. We can legally drive. Daddy, I want a car. Da. Da. <laughs> a da. No, da. <laughs> I can't believe we haven't said that in, like, forever. <laughs> that used to be, like, one of the big things we always <laughs> said. <laughs> uh, you want to explain that one? Perry's going to be a dick to my daughter whenever I have one. <laughs> I'm going to force her to say that to me. Yeah. Be like a spoiled little bitch and be like, Duh! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, here comes Uncle Perry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> like, You're going to come to my house. And, like, my daughter's like, Uncle Perry, stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> you stay away from her. <laughs> what did I do? You know what you're going to do. You know damn well what you're going to do. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> this is America. This is America. But, God, I don't want to see oh, Uncle Perry. <laughs> Kill you. Uh, that'd be awesome. If I have to deal with that, I'll be so. <laughs> I, I am counting down the days. Uh, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> whenever you it's gonna be a long time. I'll yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're so, gonna be for a while. So, <laughs> so whenever you get someone knocked up, <laughs> it's really the only chance we have. Is that somehow, <laughs> oh. somehow, I get super drunk and I find somebody else who's super drunk, and I just forget to throw a condom on, and then I'm stuck with a kid. <laughs> I don't see any way that it happens within the next ten years otherwise. Uh, such positivity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> such positivity. Typical Troy right there. <laughs> okay. Well, it's because, dude, I had, like, the worst, literally the worst day at work. Oh, yeah? In my new job. Yeah, we had, like, this management review thing for the new line I was setting up. And, like, we, <laughs> basically they grade us, and then, like, at the end I ended up failing, failing it. And half of the shit... One of my engineers didn't do anything for me, so I was stuck mm-hmm. with a whole bunch of bullshit. But I, there ended up being 45 items that I have to fix in eight days. So I had to go through the line and do all that. But anyway, the funny part of the, of the whole thing <laughs> was at the end of this, uh, <clears throat> one of the Japanese managers looked at me and he's like, you know this goes to this report goes to Japan, right? And I was like, no, I didn't know that. And he was like, well... Think of this as, like, a really bad report card that's getting sent to your parents. And I was like, okay. And he was like, you should be embarrassed. (laughs) (laughs) And at first, I was like, holy shit, I should be embarrassed. (laughs) But now, I'm just like, fuck you. (laughs) Well, you know, just the Asian dad stereotype. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, I don't care. My mom can see that I get C's. I don't give a shit. And that's what I got on my grade. Somehow C's failing in that. I don't know why. (laughs) My mom was fucking bullshit. I lived off C's in college. My mom was happy when I got C's in high school. (laughs) Like, oh, you got a C. You must have been trying real hard in that English class. (laughs) Yeah. You must have so many extra credit points. Because I'm a big (laughs) stupid. Uh, school was a thing that I wasn't very good at back in, you know, high school, I should say. Now I'm freaking killing it, dude. Because it's an art school. It is. <laughs> because... That's why you're good at it, because yeah. it's what you're good at. Yeah. And uh, all the <laughs> all the gen eds are, like, dumbed down for other stupid art kids like me. <laughs> good, well, it should be. Yeah, it's true. I mean, like, when are we ever going to use, like, freaking calculus or anything like that? I use calculus a lot, but that's just because yeah, um, you're an I'm an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's the yeah. <laughs> occupational yeah, hazard. Yeah, we're, uh, we, you know that. we're, we're on the very different Math for things. you is like history for me. Absolutely. Like, yeah. history has nothing to do with my job at all. Like, yeah. And it's completely worthless. Yeah, definitely. Um, but See, yeah. like, history could be something for you because you could do, like, period Yeah, period yeah I, 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 need, I, need to, I need to do period pieces, and I need to, like, um, uh, when I... You know, like if I'm like I'm stuttering, but we, I just said what we already said. You know, I have to if we're doing if I'm doing a period piece, I have to be able to um, know the surrounding area, what kind of stuffs around. That yeah, time. what the what the clothing was yeah. and all that good stuff. You know, it, that you know, that's just something that I need to do. Um, I I told you I work at school now, right? Yeah. Okay. But um, I haven't uh, said any details. Okay. Yeah. Uh, basically, I. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a peer advisor, and basically what that is is I, you know, make sure that all the freshmen, all the first quarter kids, you know, uh, have have a good feel of how the school's going and checking up on them if they ever 
won anything, you know, like... Wait, they, uh, don't you have to, like, call all of them? Mm-hmm. There's four of us, so, like, we have to, we get to split them up. Between the whole freshman class? Only four yeah. of you? Yeah, and there's not that many. It, it, I mean, it's, 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 it's not a big school. Was so. it, like, 50 people? There was about 50 people in the animation uh, uh, part, but that was the biggest part. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's no big deal at all. Um, like, I had to do orientation uh, last week on Thursday and Friday. And uh, <laughs> uh, the way I explain it is um, there's four of us. And uh, we're all pretty much happy-go-lucky people for the most part. You know, we, especially whenever we're presenting ourselves, like, to the, you know, to orientation, who we are and all that stuff. And it's like, oh, man, you guys are going to have a good time. You're going to be great, you know, all this good stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, think of it this way, because we're both big Scrub fans. I'm like the Dr. Cox, <laughs> where <laughs> um, I give it to you straight, and sometimes it feels like I'm being mean sometimes, but I'm actually learning you. I'm giving you some good learning. But, uh, Do you call guys by girls' names? No, I, 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 I try to. I try to. <laughs> you know what would probably happen, though? Because, like, all those... I don't know, dude. Okay, I was just thinking. They're all art students, so they probably all watch Scrubs, because I feel like that's a pretty popular show. But yeah, most of them people. do. Yeah. But they're all younger. Scrubs is a fucking old show for, it is. for an 18-year-old. That, that's weird to think Scrubs about. Scrubs is an old show for an 18-year-old. Yeah, yeah. Cole, Cole and Marshall and I watched it all the time when it was on. So, I mean, but, you know... Yeah, but even you, like, you probably came in, like, five or six seasons in. Yeah, like, that, that is true. I think that show started in, like... 2000, 2002 or one. Yeah. yeah, something like that. That's a... Maybe that's, even before that. Oh, yeah, that that's such a good show. We, oh, it's we, we've been great, dude. I am about to start rewatching that, actually. That would be... I need to. Phenomenal, yeah. Is, is it on Netflix? No. I'll, I'll download them all. Yeah. You bring your laptop all. Yeah, I'll yeah. throw them on your laptop sometime. Well, I mean, I, I, oh, I mean, no, I won't do that. No, no. Well, no. I told you, I already have all the seasons on DVD. We were, oh, yeah, we were yeah, talking yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> it was kind of funny uh, at orientation um, because <clears> – <throat> got a bubble in my throat. Uh, when we were talking to the culinary kids, um, the uh, one of the culinary chefs, like the main chef um, – Nice guy. He's like this. Uh, he, he's he's funny, um, and he's. I think he's only like been here like for two years now, and uh, you know he was doing like a little present presentation, and uh, then we were like right after him, and uh, you know the other three are like, oh man, okay, so this is I am so and so. I'm purified. We're gonna do this, 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 and then the next person's like, all right, I'm this. I'm most purified. We're gonna do this, this, this. They're one same thing, and then I come up and like, all right, I'm I'm Perry. I'm do the same thing. I'm not gonna bore you with you saying the same thing over and over again. Uh, and then, like I was talking about like email stuff. Like if you get an email from uh, one of us or uh, <clears throat> our Bonnie Bonnie Burns, who's like our dean of like uh, dean of student affairs or whatever that we work under. I said it's it, either uh, that like. That's the most important email you'll ever get from the school. And then the, 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 then, the uh, uh, then the chef is like, oh, come on. What? what? No, no, no. I, if you get an email from me, I'm important too. Come on, guys. Tell them. And I'm like, if you get only Bonnie and our email, it's important. And he just looked at me like, you do. It was, took the power from him. It was funny. He, he's, he's like, uh, you want to come out and talk <laughs> like in front of her? Like, <laughs> jokingly, jokingly, yeah. but it was it was funny. Like I, he, uh, uh, <laughs> we we had a good laugh afterwards. But um, we had to uh, uh, we have to do like student affair kind of things. Like you know, one of the things I said to everyone was uh, this will segue into what I'm going to say. But one of the things I said at orientation was that uh, you know our school isn't like other schools. I almost said real schools, but <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I, I usually do, but you know, I think, I think the president was like sitting yeah, right beside me right. and it's like, uh, okay. But, <laughs> um, I was like, unlike other schools, real schools, unlike <laughs> other schools, uh, you know, we don't have a, we don't have sports teams. We don't have fraternities, sororities or anything like that to, um, to distract us from our schoolwork. And, uh, so, 
you know, like, you know, that that's where we come in. We, we try to make, you know, we, we approve clubs that you guys want to come to us. And, you know, if you guys want to have any activities, you know, all this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, you know, for the, like, long story short, this school's not very fun. <laughs> you said that? Yes, out loud to each one of the groups. And I said, but without... Like, but what we, what us four do and what Bonnie does, we make this school a little more bearable. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone laughed, so it was, it was good. But uh, one of the things we did, I just, I actually just got back from was uh, we had a ice cream social kind of thing for our, like, uh, new kids to, you know. Yeah. And we played bingo, too. I was the bingo caller. I've never been a bingo caller. It's kind of fun. <laughs> did, you, did you razz it up a bit? Oh, absolutely. You have to. <laughs> I feel like if I was a bingo caller, like, you'd have to be, like, I don't know. Do it like an auctioneer or something. I I, <laughs> That'd be really funny. I, 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 I switched off like every uh, every time someone said bingo. So it's like one time I was like uh, old timey like folk radio, and I said, <laughs> "All right, we got B nine. Oh wow, oh, what a humdinger!" You know? <laughs> uh, then I did. Uh, we I got on an old person street for a while, so I'm like. Eh, G forty nine, F seventy five. Not for bingo. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> you idiot! Shut uh, up, you young whippers! <laughs> shut up, you old faggot! <laughs> To the bit and it's like a black guy that says it. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Shut up, slave! <laughs> Shut your Jew mouth, you darky! <laughs> Shouldn't you be in a field? <laughs> Who's it. his master? Where's your, where's your master? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're trading to the Keller territory. <laughs> you cotton picking nigga! <laughs> Yeah, I'm staying away from him. You just look for it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, had, we had two black people listening, and they're like, okay, it's already right. Keller's racist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These guys. Okay. Troy Perry doing it. And you know what? I think it's just time for us to stop listening. <laughs> it's time to stop tuning Let's in. Let's give up on it. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day, there was only one color. <laughs> the master race. <laughs> and even a Jew or two to run the banks. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Oh, speaking of Jews. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's actually isn't as bad as you think. Um, uh, for, for, I have an English class um, for... Uh, you know, for Janet, I have this quarter, and uh, what we're all the books we're reading are like we read three books, and they're all graphic novels, and oh, they're only cool. like two hundred pages long. That's awesome. Yeah, and do you get to do the Watchmen? No, no. Oh. Uh, Watchmen's like the best graphic novel ever. I, I know, I know, but I, I think we're looking for more obscure. I don't want to say obscure, but like you know, not ones that you know, not people are from, as familiar with. Yeah, but man, it'd be no, so I cool. Don't. To, like, no, I, I, I'm not disagreeing. No, it'd be awesome if like you literally like for your school had to read The Watchmen. I have a copy right here. That'd be, that'd be that'd <laughs> awesome. that's awesome. Um, but actually, I actually uh, felt really awesome because uh, uh, I super overachieved because it was such a good book. It's it's this graphic novel called Mouse, mm. and it's it's uh, it's spelled M A U. Like Z or S or something like that, or or M A. I don't know. Like German way of saying mouse, and it's all about um, uh, this uh, this this guy who is actually writing. He he's the author, but he's also the author, illustrator, or whatever. And he's the whole thing is him like trying to you know asking his dad how it was uh, when he was a Jew in Poland, oh, and gosh. so it was. Uh, uh, but all the all the characters are humans. How's it going? Holy shit! You're gonna be here for the whole episode. We haven't even started the show yet. 
Yeah. Exciting. You just missed us being really racist, too. Yeah. We were just <laughs> extremely it. racist. You missed it. You missed it. Oh, it was I'm good. I'm sure we'll find some more of that. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Um, anyway, but uh, all, all, the, uh, all the people are depicted as, you know, hum- uh, what was it, like, human, you know, body types, but, like, all the Jews have, like, mice heads, and then all the Germans are, like, the, the Nazis are cat heads, and then they're, like, mm-hmm. some... Polish people that are pigs' heads, and I mean, but it's all like real human beings, and everything. But uh, the main character, uh, if you want to call it that, the one that's you know telling the story, um, as the free to read the writer and author yeah. is recording it. But uh, he he's a Jew that you know try went to a concentration camp. Like the whole story is like getting away from the concentration camp and like trying to evade the Nazis. And uh, I think there's a sequel that we're not reading, unfortunately. But uh, you should get it. Just read it. I, I should. Um, and uh, you know, it, that's I think about when he's in the concentration camp. But I say this because I actually like finished it. Like I finished it the like today. Oh. All 200 pages of it today, and we're supposed to get the first two chapters done by Monday. <laughs> you read the whole book. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's it's really good. Right. But uh, anyway, what what I was trying to segue here to was uh, like. The way that the the author wrote his dad was, I'm assuming, how he actually talks. Mm. So, and it's so funny because he is the stereotypical Jewish person. Like, like, yeah. Uh, the way the way he writes him is again, it's true to form. It's not that he's doing it purposely, but he even says it in the books. Like, man, you know, as I'm writing, this, he's just like a bad stereotypical Jewish caricature, talking about like being really frugal and yeah. like. Um, you know, always like wanting to know about what's the money's going in the bank, and yeah. it's it, it, I don't know. It's just like, and some it was hard to read sometimes because like he would, uh, he would like mess up with all his sentences, like uh, just just very broken sentences and like just put together differently, like a Frankenstein monster. So like, I, I didn't read it like that first. Then I read it as like a Jewish person, and it's like, oh, it makes more sense. <laughs> so I actually like read it out loud. Like I was sitting on the toilet a couple times. Yeah. And I just like was reading it out loud I like a Jewish, Jewish person. Voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, if anyone was like walking in, they'd hear like me doing a Jewish impersonation <laughs> like on the toilet. So <laughs> yeah, this is good stuff. Keller, you can read it. Oh, well, God damn it. Let's talk about what oh, we yeah. did last week. What? If, oh yeah. Uh, we went. No, you can talk. Uh, I, I talked for a while. So go ahead. Last week, me and Perry went to a live streaming of Rift Tracks doing Sharknado. It was awesome, and it was very cool. Rift Tracks are the guys who are the voices for Mystery Science Theater Three Thousand, and so they did a lot. Like every couple of months, they do a live stream from Minnesota, and they stream it to a bunch of movie theaters. And so we went to a movie theater. And we watched we watched them making fun of Sharknado when we watched it. And a spring short, which was hilarious. Yeah, it was <laughs> that was that was really funny. And like it's well, first off, they made a lot of jokes that we made. In yeah. Our they Sharknado. Did. Yeah. There was a lot of very similar jokes that we made, they made. But it's Ooh. it's interesting Ooh. to see Ooh. first. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's interesting though to see how much different they do it than we do it. Oh, because yeah. Well, the way they do it is, like, they probably, I doubt it's all them, but I bet they have writers who watch the movie a lot, mm-hmm. and then they give them a script of funny things to say, and, like, when to say them. So it's literally just them, like, constantly, like, there's almost n- never any downtime at all. One of them's always talking. And that's just, like, because they watch it, or they have somebody watch it a lot of times before. So, like, ours is so Holy organic, God. because we're watching it for the first time, and theirs is scripted, scripted, and it's yeah. completely, it's just completely yeah. different. I mean, I, I like the there's way nothing how wrong they do with it. it. No, no, there's, there's nothing wrong with different. either way, you know? I mean, that it's, uh, you know, we have to do this, and the viewers have to, if they haven't already seen it, they have to imagine, you know? Yeah. They have to use their imagination, and that, you know, kind of sucks when ever we do have downtime. That's why, like, if you ever listen, like, I kind of, and you'll, you'll hear it here, too, when we do it, but I'll be like... Uh, I'll like do some groaning <laughs> so there's not like a full couple seconds of like downtime. It, yeah. I because as, as a viewer, as a listener, it kind of sucks. Well, especially if you but, haven't seen the movie, because like when I re-listen to the podcast, like when I post them and stuff, I usually listen to them. Mm-hmm. Like 
it's different for us. Like you can deal with a couple seconds because in your head you're rewatching the movie. Yeah. Because at least that's what I do when I'm re-listening to the podcast. Like I picture what was happening in the movie when we're making our jokes and stuff. It's mm-hmm. so, like I'm trying to picture what was ha- going on during that. So it's really not that big a deal to me, but for other people, I'm sure it is. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. But no, it was it was a fun time. It was it was a good time. And uh, a friend of yours, Troy, once might might want to you know. Yeah. Oh fuck! I should have fuck. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. If you're listening, I'll get you next time. Have you shown him the podcast or? Uh no. I, we're not even friends on Facebook. I, I, I gotta do that. <laughs> I'm never friends with my coworkers on Facebook or Twitter because of the shit I say. I don't want coworkers to know that nah, stuff. Fair enough. Yeah, talking about sucking dick and shit. Talking about sucking dick. You don't want to make it weird. <laughs> talking about taking it up the ass and talking about snowballing. <laughs> All these things. You know, the huge. Yeah, the you, know, you know what? You might get along with them better and say no to that Because <laughs> they're like, dude. I go home and say the same shit. <laughs> like, I go home and suck ten dicks. <laughs> Just have them right in the line. Mantled on, ma- mantled on the wall or something. Punch it down. Just build us on the wall. Just build us. As soon as you Every come practice. <laughs> <laughs> That, like, I, I, think, think of it this way. Think of it this way. It's a coat like, rack of dildos. <laughs> yep. Yep. No, no, you I, go along and suck each one. Each one gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get like you start off with like the Asian. You like you eventually try to work your way up. You practice for weeks, like to get Just to the to bigger, get that big black girthy. <laughs> and like you're like you're on the one before. It's like. Oh, tomorrow I'll be ready. Yeah. Maybe in a couple weeks I'll be yeah. ready. <laughs> you're sucking one while you're staring at the next one like, oh, you're next. <laughs> I got to work for that. <laughs> this work's going to pay off. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so are you ready? Yeah. That was a good vamp session, by the way. Like, yeah. yeah. Sometimes like when we try vamp and it's like... Shitty. I don't even know what vamp means. Because we usually vamp for you. <laughs> yeah, while well, we're waiting... We're trying to kill time for you to get back so you can be a part of it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it worked this time. Yeah, it oh, did. Fuck. Uh, we got to vamp for another 10 seconds. Oh, crap. Start vamping. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, gonna, I'm going to vamp the shit out of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to vamp it so hard. <laughs> All right. All right. Keller, you're up. Too much vamping. You don't even know what this is about, so it's going to be great when you read this. <laughs> Strange Frank. Oh, it's underrated. Awesome. Oh, titties. 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 <laughs> we all turn into like 15 year old boys every time. Or, you know, 22 year old guys. <laughs> 25. 25. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, Some things ahead. don't change. <laughs> Two female musicians fall in love and form a band as they fight for freedom in a world of space pirates, <laughs> indentured slaves. And genetic mutation. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? 2012, man. A bunch of fucking lesbians going in a freak world within a rock band. I can get down with this. And there's going to be titties. Yes. I was saying that this is like the perfect 80s cartoon. It is. <laughs> How fortunate are those who can frame the beauty of the strange. Oh, gosh. It's way too deep for me. Gotcha. This is animated? Oh, is this animated? <gasps> no way. No. <laughs> animated titties. Uh, yeah. Even better. Kinda. No. Maybe. Uh, no. Yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know. It depends. Depends on the quality. Can't say I've ever seen animated form. Oh, my goodness. Is this oh, animated? Guys. Uh, what are guys. You doing? I'm oh, God damn it. I'm excited. Well, since it's animated, they can make it better, you think. Yeah. Oh my gosh, like the sound quality is like really low. We yeah, I know. I had it down to 20 and you literally couldn't hear it. Oh, oh my god. It's like we're watching yeah. a video game trailer. I know. It's it's like a bad video game trailer. <laughs> or good. I don't know yet. Oh, uh, dude. The press oh, colony is there. Mm. Mm, we gotta develop. A, a, this a, a is probably project. really important. Important backstory. Wow, that's four. Guys, Four nipples. Four nipples, nipples on four. a dude, and oh god, I don't know if I Uh-oh. like this. And a dog, <laughs> or no, bear. That's a bear. Mon- it's a monkey dog, like a bear. <laughs> monkey dog bear. One funky monkey. Uh, 
she she's firing good, but she doesn't look like it's like uh whatever. Oh wait, no, she's just chiseling at some jackhammer. But still, she's like yeah whatever. <laughs> There's no recoil. Yeah, she should be. Uh, oh, she's she a, she's a woman. Yeah, she's obviously not strong enough to do you, that. Okay, okay, I'm gonna say like a lot of animation like related crap. But am like, I the only one who thought that reminded me of Atlantis? A little bit. With a little shit. bit. Yeah. Wow, I haven't seen that in like forever. Dude, I fucking I just watched movie. it a few months ago because it's such an awesome movie. It is, so it's, awesome. it's good. I haven't seen it so long ago. My dude is the dude who blows shit up. <laughs> He's my man. He's your man. That's um, my boy. Oh, yeah. Year 2793. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Guys, this is really trippy. <laughs> this is this is great. I'm actually really happy we chose this. Thing. I'm actually pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Need is the name of the movie. <laughs> the, Not the darkies. Uh, the darkies. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Not bad city, right? Not yeah, bad city it animation. Uh, it, it's 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 not well, bad. Or the art style they chose. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. I mean, it's like we're riding a roller coaster. I'm you know what I think we should start doing? What? Like, the last movie we watched, we didn't look at the IMDb rating until afterwards, and then we all guessed. I think we should do that every time. Oh yeah, I think that's yeah. a better idea because because it, because it, it, because it will it uh, it'll keep us from like not selecting movies. Yeah. Oh. Okay, oh, I, I, I'm. I, well, the, the <laughs> worm. I saw the worm. <laughs> okay, look, look at some of the. Their okay. walking animation is horrible. No, it is. I'm glad you said that because that's exactly what I was gonna say. Whenever you're doing like a walk cycle, you don't want to be sliding your feet. Like it shouldn't be like you're moonwalking forward. It like, should look like you're walking. Yeah. <laughs> like every every. It's Atlantis. First step. What's the yeah. name of Atlantis? Her, I look at her eyebrows. They're like on a totally different layer than like the whole uh, model. That's the look they were going for. Sure, but it we'll just, go with it, that. It looks unattached. And why is their hair breathing? Their hair looks like it's breathing. Heads yeah, flowing like really weird. What is that? It's oh, he's badass. I uh -oh. don't know what he is. Like, do, do you see what I'm saying with like her eyebrows and stuff? Like, next time you see it. I'm trying to take this all in because yeah. this is, I don't know what's going on right this now. Is, this okay. <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? <laughs> We're watching. We're enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh oh. oh this. Shit. Uh oh. oh. This. Is, this. Oh. They're gonna fall in love. Snatch shot. Titties. Come on. Show the snatch. Those are all wieners, actually, that she cut off. I'm set to protect. I am set to protect. These are the two that are going to start scissoring the timbers over here. Are we just going to watch a really badly animated porn? Look at you, see your thong. Yeah. Oh, she's shaking what? her hips, too. Is that you, Shakira? <laughs> <laughs> Shakira actually did this movie. <laughs> that would be awesome. She did all the motion capture for this movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Is that what we go for? Probably. They're just gonna throw stars in this. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck ton of fire rest. Oh yeah. Well are you dragging? At least make their titties bounce in the animation. Oh, what the, what kind of shot is that? I can't. Oh, if you're gonna do one thing right, get the titty bouncing. The camera is moving so much; it's like literally making me sick. Like how, and I watch handheld movies all the time. Yeah. But the angle shifting that they're doing and it's really turned out a little bit annoying. It's There's a lot, just a lot going on. Yeah, it's. I, this is gonna turn into the world's longest animated lesbian film. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'd be all right with it. Yeah, yeah. I'd be totally fine with that. 
Oh, no. She got shot. Oh, do you see her smile? She got touched? <laughs> yeah. She, she wants, wants it. it. She wants she it. She knows she wants Here it. Here you go. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. You fuck. Oh, oh, my goodness. Look at the eyebrows. Look at the eyebrows. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't... They don't move with the whole face. Well, I mean, just, like, how they're really defined and, like, the rest of it's, like, really faded and foggy. Yeah. It, it's... It, I, I don't I don't think it's bothering you guys as much as, as it's me. It's not bothering me at all. No, I don't know. It's... I'm turned on right now. Okay. Because they're about to make animated love. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, she's moving her hand up oh. to her snatch. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. What the fuck? There's no place like home. This is... Awesome. <laughs> and it begins. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Yes! Uh, yes! Finger banging each other in an alley Finger while there's bang. this war going on. <laughs> hey, you know what? That. Oh, well, that everyone's getting it on. Oh, yeah. To the animated aliens. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I can get on board with that. <laughs> we just watched some animated chick get finger banged by another animated chick. <laughs> Unlicensed trash mower. <laughs> <laughs> I posted a license. <laughs> the animation is not bad at all. The uh, the 3D models of the of the ships and stuff is all right, like um, like the city and you know these, but the, the the 2D like this is just. Perry, you're just gonna have to get over. I it. I know. Enjoy I'm... it for what it is. No, no, I mean like I I'm because I, there's I am, lesbian but... action going on. Yeah, I'm not turning back. And you're worried about the yeah. animation. <sighs> well, it is an animated movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> He's too worried about it, though. I don't know. It's, what is, is that? It's a bat. It's a bat. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. Dude, that's, uh... The, the voice actress, or actor, is, uh... She did, it's like... Morgan Freeman! Did it? <laughs> it's Morgan it's Morgan. Morgan. It's Morgan it's Kevin Freeman. Freeman. It's Kevin Durant. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's got gray hair. Jeff Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Yeah, all black Does people have no legs. <laughs> yeah. Why would you need legs when you can just float around? That's true. In space, it's really not that bad. Morgan Freeman doesn't need legs. He'd still be the greatest person ever. I think they I are. I really to... hope Morgan Freeman voiced this too. Mm. No, what I was saying though. That the I think the thing of the uh, person who's voicing the monkey or whatever that or the uh, bat is uh, she does a lot of like cartoons on like Cartoon Network and stuff. I can't remember who it is though. Must be hitting hard times to get put <laughs> to say yes to this movie. I don't know. Maybe the uh, animation no. sold her. The storyline sold her. Yeah. Passion project. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. She just read the script and really loved it and wanted to be a part of it in any way possible. <laughs> she accepted as soon as she got to like the finger bang part. She's like, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> this is five minutes in? Absolutely. Her agent's like, really? Yes. I need to do this. Have you read the script? The, There's the first left. five minutes of it, yes. <laughs> and I, I stopped sold. after that. <laughs> and I sold. We got too excited. <sighs> no, that's just not good. No, <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> this is better than Star Wars. <laughs> I thought this was Star Wars for a second. That's Jar Jar. <laughs> God, Star Wars, the new one, better really step up their game and put some finger banging it? in it. <laughs> that was going to be called Star Wars, the new one. 
That'd be awesome. Star Wars, right? Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's a porno out there called Star Wars. There's got to be. Yeah. It has to be. What's the one in uh, Zach and Mary make a porno? They make a Star Wars parody porn. What's, is what's it? that one called? No idea. I just don't watch that Star movie Wars. in forever. Maybe that's called Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. The old Dutch Rudder. <laughs> Dutch Rudder, that's why I learned that. <laughs> Not that I practice. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's, it's not gay if I'm not touching your dick. It's not, though. Just to be clear, it's not gay. <laughs> Dutch Rider is very far from being gay. Well, it's pretty far from being straight, too. Yeah. But I can live with that. <laughs> you cut that shroom. Oh, she looks good in them pigtails. That's her sex hair. Oh shit. Is she an alien? Or is she a mutant? I don't She's know. I think they're people. both Care. aliens or something. <sighs> Some of this animation is good. Yeah, and it's then, not all bad. And then, look, and then some I just don't get why their hair is always moving. Yeah, like even the hat. Even the, the even hat, hat was moving. moving. Yeah. It looks like it's, it's breathing. Do you think it's maybe, maybe they have a lower atmosphere? So when you move, it would wave like you're underwater in a, in a sense. If that you, could be. But they, they, you'd think they'd be walking differently and stuff. Then that too. and, uh, you know, it would... See, so look at everything's floating. Yeah, well, that could just be bad. Or they're just it's bad, bad timing, yeah. Or, well, I mean, look, like... It could rest... be an art style choice, but it also could be they're trying to replicate the low gravity. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like, Jupiter, not... so it would have the more gravity. clothes. The clothes would also do the same thing, but it just seems like it's just the head. Yeah. Sometimes I think whenever someone says, oh, it's just an artistic, you know, choice, I think it's like, nah, you're just being lazy, like, for most <laughs> things. This, yeah. Oh, hey, look, actually. Hey. Uh-oh. Those, those, it's a cantina uh, scene from Star Wars. <laughs> it is. Do, 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 shot first. Do, 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 and the new ones. Fucking bullshit. Han shoots first. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is this like some guy just wanted to make a music video and like ended up just making a whole movie it out of it? Turned into a movie, yeah. That's that's what we're getting at right here. I can make a better music video than this. Just I doubt it. See that ass? <laughs> <laughs> Give her the wank. Oh, titty. First titty, fellas. Mm-hmm. Big moment. <laughs> so we're what, 10 minutes in? We got finger banging, hand tip. That's all you need in life. Yeah. That's it. Uh, and now a demon? Eagle, bird, demon. Those feathers don't even look... I, I, you know what? I need to just settle. Just gotta let it, let it I, happen. I know. I guess I should just like... Try to just keep saying it to myself. Because I, you know... Look at those glasses. I, those, I, those, <laughs> those, those were awesome. Those. <laughs> I think that sign at the hand is like a resistance sign. Yeah. I think so. Resistance symbol. Yeah. I can roll with that. Yeah. Oh, look at her playing her music. Yeah. She's blowing big. <laughs> That's good enough. Just I feel imagine like this is... watching this on like shrooms. I, I, I when I saw like the first scene, I was like, I kind of wish I was high. Or like on acid for this shit would be intense. I've never done acid, but I just no, have man. a feeling this would be insane. Whoa. Oh, she's on, oh, a, she's pool. on a pool. <laughs> what? What's... what's... Dialogue seems really good too for when I'm listening. What? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Here we go. In the middle of the bar. Getting it. Dad ass. Dad ass though. Holy <laughs> shit. They didn't screw that up. No. Mm -hmm. Shit. <sighs> I can't really animate 
kisses very well. No. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, they're kind of fucking that up, but the rest of it is pretty They're solid. dropping the ball with that. Who cares about the kisses, though, when someone's fucking finger blasting someone? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's butt- that was one of the best animated asses I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hands down. Oh, up. Uh, are they in not the in the middle of the bar? bar? Middle of the bar there. The bar looks she's like She's going it's down. She's going down. Maybe this is their apartment, but... She's yelling timber. Oh, Ooh. well. Whoa. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. And they were just, They're literally just standing just there watching... There. What's going on with his eyes? They're they're just watching. They literally are just two people watching. That's awesome. It's like, hey, can I come in? Nah. No. Nah. No. Well, why not? Why? Why? Captain why? Jack? Nah, it's, it's a, a pirate. It's a Jamaican. He's Jamaican. Pirate. Yeah. There is pirates in this, I remember. Space oh, yeah. Pirates. I thought she was a space pirate. She's a space pirate? Yeah, I don't know. She's licking her belly button, yeah. I think. Like, they're just having idle conversation and all this is just going on. Drugs must be working, then. Yeah. Okay, boring conversation. Uh, I don't care. Quit it. Get back to something. Do what, what, what you do. What are we seeing? What What is this? No idea. Uh, I got a feeling we're not going to follow anything in this movie. Mm-mm. Not at all. I see money. I see a skull. Yeah. Uh, that, the hair constantly moving really does bother me. Yeah. I'm, gl- I'm, I'm glad it's finally bothering you as much as it's me. They're just naked in the middle of the bar. That's awesome. I don't really see anyone else aside from, you know, they're... There's two creepy guys. Yeah. I, if, if we were actually listening, I still don't think we would follow. No, probably not. It's just so out there that... Okay. Someone's sucking them off, probably. Oh, no. They're back in clothes, too. Boring. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> back to the good part. What is that on our forehead? It's, it's just a big stupid ball. It's a birth mark. Yeah. Unfortunate birth mark. You know, I was trying to say before, like, the whole sex thing uh, came up, um, that I, you know... <laughs> It's sometimes good to watch bad, you know, animated stuff like this as much as it's to watch the good stuff, because we've talked about it before. How you know, by we could we could probably make a somewhat decent movie yeah. by how not to by how much yeah. bad stuff we watch, yeah. what not to do. Exactly. So and if you watch something good, then you appreciate it. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really do. It makes the good stuff better. Watching yeah. shitty movies like this make me like average movies better. Yeah, yeah. It makes everything better. Yeah. yeah. So, which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I like watch so many fucking movies that like if I only watched like movies that had sevens on IMDb, I would have ran out by now. Yeah. Like literally, just would have ran out <laughs> of movies that I care about. Yeah. Um, I was uh, I was watching this one cartoon on a uh, Cartoon Network, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, Adult Swim. It's called Super Jail. It's kind of like this with all the pacing. It just it's like really really fast and it's just kind of crazy and like it's really hard to follow all the like what the narrative of every episode is because all it is is just a bunch of gore and killing and really fast yeah. uh, pacing and. Uh, I was, I was like, I was working on some, I think I was like working on like, uh, I don't know, like a script or something and I was eating like cookies and milk or something in, uh, in the living room. Marshall comes up, my, my little brother Marshall comes up and he just sits down and he's also eating like cookies and he's just watching it too. He's like, how do you even watch this? I'm like, 
And like, like, cause you know, he's kind of saying that expecting me like, Oh, I'm sorry. You want me to turn the channel? But yeah. I'm like, um, I'm just like, you know, I don't watch this because it's good. I watch it because it's bad. And he's just like, I don't get it. I'm like, think about it this way. You got, like we we're just saying here, you got to watch some bad things to understand what not to do. And, yeah. you know, as much as he wanted to disagree with me because that's just what he lives for, he's like, you know, you're probably right. And uh, so he just watched the rest of it, and he put up with it. So, and he hated it. Yeah, he hated it, but he hates, <laughs> he hates a lot of things I do. I mean, Marsh, I, 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 don't, I don't mean to be, like, brother bashing. I'm not going to bash him, you know, much. My brother bash all day. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that's something really easy for me. Yeah. Well, but that's a whole other story. Yeah, we're not going to get into that. No. Well, all I was going to say is that Marshall and I are very different because um, he cares about what's in style, whether it be music, whether it be, you know, TV, Ew. whether it be, you know, just because he wants to fit in with anywhere he goes. So, you know, it's easy. I don't want to say it's easy for him, but he, he really doesn't have much of a, you know, a personality when it comes to that. Either that or it's just the total opposite with me. Yeah. Where, I mean, I you know I don't want to sound like a douchey hipster like this, but you know I'm I, I'm a, you know I, I'm an I'm an artist, so you know I just see things you know differently. You know I have like different tastes than you know what is popular, and you know again I don't want to sound douchey or anything, but you know that's just how it is. He just doesn't understand how, you know like how, how do you like that stuff that isn't on like you know MTV MTV whatever the radio or something like that. <laughs> Ew. It, yeah. Radio is like the worst thing that yeah. ever happened to anything. Yeah. The radio? I hate the radio. I love the radio. I don't know. I, I like some... I hate commercials. Yeah, commercials suck. I'd rather listen to commercials than listen to pop music. <laughs> well, I don't like pop music. I don't listen to pop. Every once in a while... You could argue something. anything that on the radio is a form of pop music, though. Yeah. If it's popular enough to be on the radio, exactly. then... I listen to like, playing... Like, <laughs> like all rap that you hear on the radio, I would consider pop music. Anymore, yeah. Yeah. You know, like I think, I think ever since, um, ever since pop music kind of turned into like more of an electro kind of or EDM kind of uh, basis. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I think it's just I don't I don't want I I don't know if that's the reason it got worse but that's the reason why like a lot more people don't like it as much because EDM is just not like a genre that everyone can you know get into like on its own but you know because pop is pop you know it, it it's more acceptable and some people be like oh you, know, you know music nowadays sucks worse but I I don't know like it's it's all a matter of opinion and as much as 80, 90% of it is terrible. I mean, there is stuff that is good. I mean, there's always exceptions. I'd say when I was a kid, I liked pop music back then a lot more than I like pop music now. Yeah. I would agree with that 100%. Yeah. Like Hootie and the Bluefish was pop. I don't think it's even a question. No. Smash that. Mouth. Yeah. Like, like 90s stuff. stuff. Like, yeah. that's pop music, but 90s pop was actually like. Compare it, like, I don't like it really, but, like, comparatively, like, to what's pop now. Get some Britney in you. Oh, yeah. It's Britney, bitch. I like some Britney. I do. I really Josh do. loves Britney Spears. Oh, I can listen to Britney. I, I, I like me some Britney Spears. Um, Cause she's got sass. Yeah. I mean, we got... Just a little country girl. Yeah, yeah, a little, little bit of that. <laughs> got some sass in it. That's why Miley's so awesome. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah, she's the new Miley. Is awesome. Iggy, Iggy, I- Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Yeah. I'm so fancy, dude. I have heard that song more this week than I've ever heard it. Like ever since it came out, it's isn't kind it, of incredible. Isn't it awesome? Though? It's awesome. It's it, it's probably getting overplayed a little. It, it is. Like, I I don't know. I'm still indifferent see, I don't, about it. I don't hear it enough for it to be ruined. Really yeah, the only time I hear it is here. Because exactly. I never listen to the radio, exactly. so I never I don't it. listen to anything, any radio that would have that. Well, I mean, I go to school, and a lot of a lot of people, you know, listen to it and stuff, and I don't know. I, yeah. See, I'm not around that. Yeah, ever, yeah. So. 
when I want to listen to it, it's still awesome. Yes. Yeah. It's uh. It's the same way for Miley with me. A lot of people just got burned out on it. Mm-hmm. For me, we I like listen, listen to it when we want to listen to it. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. When we're like, oh, let's listen to Smiley. That sounds fantastic <laughs> right now. I only like Party in the USA so far. Oh, dude, what's that? The one with Beth Hurt Jordans. That song's awesome. Jay's on my feet? Jay's on my feet is fucking sweet. That song's awesome. <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> it's great. Then the video for Wrecking Ball, obviously. Uh, nah. I don't think she's hot at all. That's crazy. Well, you're fucking retarded. I know. You're dumb. I am. You're dumber than shit. I am. I still don't think dumb she's fun. I don't understand how... I, I think... Every, maybe not you, but every single person that I've ever met who says she's not hot is literally just because, like, they think she's a slut, and that and that's just the way that they yeah, portray it. They, no. They don't she's like attractive. Sex. Like, here's the thing. I, you know... The, 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 the girls I think are the most attractive are the bleach blonde, you know... Sluts. Sluts. So, you would assume that I would think Miley Cyrus is hot, but I just don't. I, I don't. I, That's I don't. weird. You're just retarded. I know. I know. You uh, douchebag hipster. I know. It's terrible. I got a hipster haircut now, too, so... Oh, God. Yeah. God damn it, Perry. I know, right? <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. I literally have no idea what's going on. They're at some weird party. Yeah. They've been at a weird party every the whole time. Movie. <laughs> so I... They actually live at weird parties. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Take the pill. Oh, oh, oh they're... Oh, they're... Yeah. Mm. Wonder what that is. Some alien... Alien drugs. Coke yeah. and acid and everything in between. Mixed that's acid. Together. Yeah, that's that. Oh, no. Nope. More Coke. Uh oh. Oh, oh, give it to the box. It's gonna be spurred out. The box is gonna go ape shit. The box is gonna go in their boxes. What the fuck? I. I don't know. What? Is it getting her off? When, when we listen to this, like, not most of how well. we talk about this, aside from the sex scenes, it's, it's gonna just be us going, what? Huh? It's so. Huh? I mean, this is such a hard movie to try to follow any storyline. If yeah. you were paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to just to make fun of it, not pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Am I the only? Am I the only one to realize how fucked up her forehead is? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. I just don't no, realize I, I she has it. that. Like she has the blue thing, but her forehead shape yeah. is yeah. like a ball. I yeah. just now realize that. Really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I was, I was, I saw that too. Like uh, when I first saw her. Uh oh, is that satin? I think that's satin. Satin lives. So weird. Satin and all his demons. <laughs> Keller thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny. I'm so confused. <laughs> so they're gonna yeah, give him another drink. Yep. That's all I need. I bet he just roofied him. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Straight roofies. Absolutely. Some really crazy alien roofie. Yeah. That's gotta be awesome. I wonder if on like another planet where like aliens are, they think that this is like just a normal movie. Yeah, this is like, like this is a western. This is like <laughs> this is like a t- like an Oscar winning movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know. The eyebrows, I the eyebrows just don't look right, and none of their eyebrows do. They seem their too hair and eyebrows poppy. just couldn't do it. Yeah. I just gave up at that point. They literally couldn't even. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get a white girl on it. White color. Don't even get me started. All I could do was odd today. <laughs> I, I went this morning, got some Starbucks, and then I ran into Jenny, and oh my God, I couldn't even. Listen, I was just so totes ready to drink my pumpkin latte, and then Jenny showed up. Woo! 
white girl wasted. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of That's a virgin girl. Starbucks. Bunch of woo Whatever. Girls. <laughs> Bunch of woo girls. Hey. So are you going to the Bucks this weekend? <laughs> At that Starbucks. I don't know why I said this weekend. They can do Chipotle every day. is my <laughs> life. <laughs> I I am now learning that Chipotle is now a. a it, I guess it has been, but it's, it's the like greatest. it's it's a total white girl place that everybody can talk it's about. Like it's like Starbucks. Now. It is. Like, it's the Starbucks and Starbucks. Chipotle. Yeah. Oh, chip at least. That is the wise thing you can do is wake up. Go to go Starbucks. To Starbucks. And then go, go to, to Chipotle, Chipotle for lunch. And then go get white girl wasted. Yes. That's the trifecta. <laughs> Hashtag all day. <laughs> Hashtag no filter. <laughs> there, God, I hate women. I okay. Oh gosh, They're you so you will you will stupid. love this. Ah, oh, where's my where's my where's, okay? I have this I have this girl I go to school with. Um, she. We were kind of friends, like uh, my first quarter I was there. And she she is the epitome of white girl, the epitome. I can't stand it. And it's unbelievable. She just it took a. I mean, like I think yesterday she took a picture of like. <laughs> she took a picture of her in a cardigan. All right, but the thing is, like she chopped it really. I'll show you the picture, but like. <laughs> it, for for the viewers, um, for the listeners, uh, I'm trying to think of the name so I can. Uh, okay, so in the picture, she 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 uh, the the tag is uh, I'm obsessed with cardigans, and this is all it, all of the cardigans she wears. Like that's all you can see in the. Card- yeah, that is. I know. And you unbelievably know, white girl. And you know, okay. It's like, oh, I love the cardigan. I don't like face. What? I don't like her face. I don't. Eh. Like, <laughs> got some titties on her. She has some titties on her, but her face. Yeah, I'm she's obsessed and, with cardigans. And no, I, I, I was the first poster, and I put, then why, then why do I not see much of the cardigan? And she deleted it immediately. <laughs> deleted That's, her picture? Or no, no, comment? deleted my comment immediately. <laughs> It's then, like then uh, I, like, you can delete other people's comments. Yeah, yeah. on your posts or yeah. whatever. Really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. But if like I've seen pictures before, like new haircut, and you see like a bang, and then just there's titties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's like, are you kidding me? Hashtag new haircut. Oh, what do you want me to look at? Your hair? That's a nice haircut. I can see a bang. <laughs> I like your hair's pulled up in a bun. Uh, New haircut. <laughs> I just colored my hair. New haircut. She's in a bikini and like you don't stop you see this like yeah, that's like it. just got a new hair color and then like it's dark you can't see her hair at all. She's wearing a hat. <laughs> even, better, even better, you don't see her face and all you see is like boobs and her feet. Yeah. <laughs> like new haircut. Oh, the 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 bet the best and a worst part way about this girl is like she's a ginger. Who like? I bet she does the duck ble- face all the yeah, time. Yeah, all the time, all the time. Bleaches her hair, and I saw her the I saw her uh, yesterday before she posted this, and uh, just walking, and she didn't see me or else she would have said hi. But uh, she looked like a freaking oompa loompa, just. So in that picture, she looked really Jersey Shore oh, yeah. kind of just thing. orange as uh, orange as orange a could o- be. An oompa loompa. Yeah, yeah, it was incredible. And I don't know how any chick thinks that's attractive. attractive at all. Yeah. Like, no. Not even a little bit. No. Not even. I can't even. <laughs> I, I can't. Like that, I run into a chick like that at a bar, I, I can't even. Yeah. <laughs> really. I will literally look her in the face <laughs> and go, I can't even. <laughs> I'm going to Starbucks and then Chipotle. <laughs> And she'll probably go, all right, I'll see you there. <laughs> see you there. I'm there every day. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. No shame. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag no shame. Hashtag no filter. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag natural beauty. Hashtag I'm so fat. <laughs> um, oh, that that also, like when I said the, uh, the damn born... Or I know, right? The, as oranges, like that, that. that Why are there? They all. There are only options. 
<laughs> That's true. Oh. Well, no, they're not all white girls. Yeah. White, white girls with a Z. Yeah, girls. Uh, girls. So you're, like, distinguishing, like, like the, the difference between, between, like, a black guy and... And, and an African. No. Because Africans aren't real black yeah. people. No, no, there's no, black people and then there's niggers. <laughs> I'll say that because it's true. <laughs> I know a bunch of black people at work, and not one of them's a nigger. <laughs> there is a difference. <laughs> About like white people have white people and then white trash. It's the same thing. I never thought of it that way. Yeah, that's you're right. how I've always thought of it. I've never thought of it it's, that way, but that's. It, I there, get, I actually get there that. is a distinguishment between the two. <laughs> like I will never call like a nice, normal black person a nigger because they're not. <laughs> if you're running around at four in the morning with your pants around your ankles, yeah, you're probably a nigger. <laughs> sorry about your luck. <laughs> sorry, hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Uh, There's hashtag so... truth bombs. <laughs> what? Truth bombs. Truth bombs. bombs. There has truth to be bombs. a okay. thing on Twitter that's just like all the whitest girls shit. And I'm going to follow it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> White girl probs. <laughs> There's uh, got to be a Twitter account like that. Yeah, there, there has to be. Um, no, I, uh, I was going to say before we got on the black people uh, <laughs> that... Um, when when I when I talked about like how orange this chick was, that reminded me of my when I went when I was a junior, I didn't go to our homecoming. I went to like my cousin's homecoming. They had like a girl, like a friend of theirs that they set up with me. Like it was down here in Waynesville and we went and like I never met this chick before, but like she had the cheapest, <laughs> dirtiest spray on tan. And it was just like it melted into her cleavage. So like her her like the the crease of her boobs were like really, really orange, like a hot spot, and then the rest of her was just like really white. And yeah, um, I'm not like a, I don't really care if a girl's tan like that. I had a long conversation with Josh about this before actually, and he like I don't know if he still believes this, but when we talked about it, all right, he basically told me he's like, and if Josh ever listens to this, he might change his mind or he might be like this is from a long time ago, so he doesn't believe it anymore. But I. Pretty much said, like, the more tan you are, the hotter you are. Not necessarily. And I just couldn't disagree with that more. I, you know... A natural tan is fun. Yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. Dark, not, not dark, dark. It just depends on... Unless you're naturally yeah, that's dark. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, like, some girls look better tan, some girls look better pale, in my yeah, opinion. It yeah, it doesn't... Yeah. yeah. It's, no, not, I, it's, it's just not, not like black a, and white. Where yeah, exactly. It's, you know, some girls are black, some girls are white. You know? Some girls are spits. <laughs> I haven't heard that term since high school. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, I don't know. I've, I've never heard anyone that wasn't from Fort Recovery, like, use that as a Mexican, like, really? derogative. Yeah, I've never I've heard, heard that before. I've heard it a lot. I don't know. I, I Like I said, I it's haven't not heard the it most since high school. used though. one. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't even wet heard like wet back in a while. Wet back, tomato picker. <laughs> the, the list goes on. And on. <laughs> Fence jumper. Fence jumper. <laughs> Margarita maker. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, when I was at country concert, there was a Mexico there. Yeah. I was shit faced. <laughs> Oh, Surprise! God. You were shit faced the country concert. <laughs> he walked by like, he, I did something stupid. Said something stupid. Then he like looked at me. He's like, "Hey," I'm like, "You better get the fuck walking." Where's the fuck's your visa? I'll get that sheriff over here right now. <laughs> he said that. Yeah. He said that. And he just like was so pissed off, but the sheriff was literally right over next to us, so he just turned and walked. Like, that's right. <laughs> that would have been awesome if you got a fight over that. <laughs> you, like, got punched in the face because of that. That would have been the greatest. The sheriff came over and he didn't have a green card. <laughs> so that would have been awesome. <laughs> uh, Kelly, you want to explain country concerts to the viewers or the listeners that not really quite sure? Uh, well, it is 
the best thing ever. Okay, okay well, go. It started off with a lie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't know. <laughs> it's a two I've to seen one. enough pictures that I feel like I've. Oh been yeah, there. enough pictures. Just imagine posts. getting blacked out drunk four days straight with fifty thousand of your best friends. That's what it is. You don't have five best friends. <laughs> I had fifty thousand of them at country concerts. <laughs> <laughs> Killer has the friends. <laughs> Screw you guys. That's probably when you where you have your most friends. Though, I would, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not being mean. Like, yeah. That's probably where you see most of your yeah. friends. Yeah, like, yeah. that's probably the, probably the one that spot that you go that you have the majority all my of your friends, friends are there. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's I the mean, only time all of our friends really get together. Pretty much like more than half of Mercer. <laughs> See, like that, Shelby that Donnie side of it, it, I can completely get behind. Yeah, well, I can yeah. completely get behind the whole like just getting a, like all of your friends together. Yeah, that's and just all doing it is. something together. And it's, well, that's if the it's, thing. It's, Shane Stein doesn't like country music at all. He doesn't yeah. hates it. So do I. But country concert, he's been there the past four years, and he would not miss it for the world. <laughs> See, because it's just the atmosphere. It's the party. It's a four-day party. It just it's happens like to a mini break. Yeah. Yeah. Without water. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's just you don't a drink huge, water in spring break. It's a huge party. Like all oh, the shit, I didn't. <laughs> all the singers and shit are like partying too. Like singing about parties. Like it's just everyone's there having a good fucking time I would have a that's lot that's all it is I feel like I would have a lot more fun if they just didn't have music you know in, in a way like well the me. thing is you don't even have to listen to the music having the music there gets everyone pumped up so everyone's <laughs> having a fucking blast yeah so you don't even have to listen to the music Every, everyone else is gonna listen to it and be pumped up doing whatever when they're shit faced just like me I was slinging beers I was just throwing them. <laughs> Were you really? Yeah. I would pop one open and just sling it around. Tell them about... Uh, the one you... time, I popped one open, and I went to sling it, and I let go of a full beer, and just chucked the fuck out. <laughs> Hit someone right in the back. So do you have to load up on beers beforehand? Like, you can't buy beers there? You can buy beer there. It's just crazy expensive. No, they're... Not normal really? price you go to a gas station yeah really? it's all cheap yeah oh, that's awesome yeah. so you don't have to like buy like five cases of beer for the week well we you live do anyway. we live 15 yeah. minutes away so we went home every day and got more beer oh really yeah hmm. you're allowed to leave and come back that's pretty so cool. we live close enough to where we could go, go home, take a shower, shower yeah, and then go and back then eat and come back see I could get behind something like that but like yeah. if yeah, I there's just, like from a bunch of people there are just there yeah, see like that? From, we talked to people from Canada. Yeah. There's My good friend I met, I think Saturday, we were just partying with him. Pussy Monster. That's what you called him? Her. You called her Pussy Monster? That's what she called herself. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we talked to like Canadians all day and it was awesome because they were just like us looking to get shit faced. See, like, the, the equivalent for that for me is like, would be Bonnaroo. Yeah, yeah Bonner would be great. And see, the thing is, like, I love the music there. Like, I would have a great time listening to the music. Mm -hmm. But I just don't think I could, especially now, like, maybe when I was in college, but I really just don't think now I could get behind, like, going somewhere for four days where it's 95 degrees, you can't shower, like, yeah. all you do is drink and take drugs, like, and just, like... You're listening to music hundreds of yards away from the stage just because there's so many people jam packed in yeah. between there. And if you have to leave to go piss and you have to start from the back again to get back yeah. up front, See, like that just sounds horrible to me. Not yeah. that bad. Like it's all pretty close. Well, there's no way it's. As, I, I know it's big, but there's no way it's as big as like no, 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 no chance. Like that. No chance. But just imagine like my personality, like having fun, country, all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Everyone there, that's what it is. Yeah. That's everyone there, that's what it is. Keller, Which I can't, is perfect. I can't believe I'm saying this, but he actually, you know, made me feel for country concert a little more than... I mean, I, I understand I mean, it. It's just... I, mean, I understand it a little more. I mean, not, I... Not being there, like, you guys see it all the time on Facebook, Twitter. That's it, all people talk about. Yeah, it's annoying. It, it, it's annoying. That. It is, yeah. But 
if you go, like, it is just a party with people just looking to have fun for four days straight. Yeah. Just partying their asses off because everything else goes on throughout the year, school, work, whatever. Mm -hmm. Four days, just go out there, let loose, black out. Yeah. A lot. (laughs) And let your hair down, get sassy, and just party. Nice. Tell them about how you woke up that one night. Yeah, I woke up one morning. So it was Sunday morning. It was like four in the morning I woke up. I was in a lawn chair. Two two campers down from our campsite. Were you even in your lawn chair or somebody else's? No, someone else's campsite completely. <laughs> no idea who they were either. I was laying on the back of it. So like I was laying like the lawn chair fell back. And I was laying on it like that. I woke up to something and I looked down and my pants are on fire. <laughs> my fucking shorts what? were on fire. So I like jumped up, jumped on the ground, did the whole, you know, stop, drop, and roll thing, shit faced at four in the morning. And I had no idea what was going on. I looked around, I couldn't recognize where I was because I wasn't at my campsite. And I'm looking down like my pants are still smoking. And I'm like, how the fuck is, what the fuck is going on here? (laughs) Mind you, I didn't sleep the night before. And I had been drinking since six in the morning that morning. And this was three at night the next night. That's 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 really awesome. But yeah, I have no idea. I have like a huge ass burn in my shorts, and Uh, we know how it happened. Being off too hard, (laughs) (laughs) Indian rug burn style. (laughs) (laughs) Getting some friction. (laughs) No, you had to fall asleep smoking. That had to be it. It about had to be. It had had to be. (laughs) Unless somebody literally. Were there, were there campfires me? around? Were no, people allowed to have campfires? campfires? No, so it had to be that. There's no had other explanation. But the thing is... Unless somebody was, saw you... I was <laughs> laid there, passed out, <laughs> laying on my back in a lawn chair, on the ground. How could I have been smoking while I was already the, passed out well, on the ground? The like only that? other option is if somebody... I was like, sleep smoking? It could have been. Could have been. <laughs> it could have been the guys who were in that campsite... They saw some rando and just <laughs> sleeping in their fire. chair. And, and they, they were just gonna light me on fire. <laughs> and they were smoking and like fucking asshole and flipped it at you. That's possible. Yeah, but then I got up and looked around and there was no one there. Like, well, it's literally not like it, no one well, it's around. It's not like it would light your shit on fire instantly. Like, it would take a little bit. Yeah, but I think I would have noticed anyone around. Somebody could. If they see me stop, drop, and roll, they're gonna be on the ground <laughs> laughing their asses off. I would have seen that. <laughs> Maybe somebody, some dick was hammered as fuck walking by and saw you passed out there and he's like, fucking bitch. Flipped at you. That's <laughs> like, and just kept walking. That's possible. That, that's possible. I, I think mean, it's way more likely possible. that you fell asleep smoking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's. that's like, awesome. I, I was so shit faced, I don't really remember. I'm thinking I fell back in the lawn chair onto the ground. That's what woke me up. Yeah. Because I fell, passed out for a little bit as I was smoking. Then I fell back in the lawn chair, and then that's when it hit, and I started on fire. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Either way, I've never been more confused in my life. That's that's wonderful. That was was a good story. Awesome story. Yeah. Oh, you got any other stories, Mike? Is that your best country concert story? I mean... (laughs) <laughs> There's so much shit that happens. It's like it's hard to remember one specific story. Uh, well, if you can remember any, just go ahead and you know interject whenever. But uh, now we were, you were talking about like oh, I seen a black kid there. Really? That was exciting. <laughs> and there, it was like during one of the concerts, like they have a bunch of trees and shit everywhere. Mm-hmm. They have cottonwoods. So there was cotton flying through the air oh, everywhere. Oh, that's got to suck. And I'm just like, oh, shit. Niggers got an easy day today. Cotton's <laughs> flying for them already. <laughs> that's, that's no, but, like, Luke Bryan was there at the end. And yeah. I was, like, five feet from him as he was walking up to the 
top stage mm-hmm. that I I like splashed him with beer because I was just throwing beers around and he was like five feet away he's the biggest name there and I'm just throwing beer at him <laughs> His four security guards didn't appreciate that too much. I would just love to have, like, a technology where, like, I could, like, attach a fly with, like, a camera to a fly. I'll just wear a GoPro. Just, that's what you should do. You there. should buy a GoPro and just get it strapped to your chest. Yeah. Or put it, like, on my shoulder. Yeah. Put, like, a little mount put on it, your backpack. Put it in, like, a parrot or something on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you no, I've seen people with GoPros there. I was actually for a lot of the concert yeah. Saturday. There was a guy who had a GoPro on the end of a stick and he yeah. was holding it up and filming everything. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That does sound pretty cool. You can get GoPros really cheap through Joe, two hundred bucks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so the problem is, I would use it one time a year. Exactly. Yeah. I don't. I would. I would, be, I would use it tubing sometimes, maybe just for fun, yeah. like just to get some footage of it. Yeah. That'd be Sex. about it. Yeah. Exactly. Being off. Yeah. Critique uh, my form. <laughs> <laughs> Watch game film the next morning. Ah, see, so you're pulling left a little bit there. Oh, God, God. Straight, <laughs> straight forward. Eyes forward. Oh, I see what I did now. Okay. I'll, I'll work on that, coach. <laughs> that would be sweet to have a GoPro, but I don't I just do know, I wouldn't use I don't it. Yeah, I, anything that. Yeah, would, I wouldn't use it. Like, if I was an extreme, like. Like sports, did snowboarding and all that oh, yeah. all the time during the winter and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it'd be worth it then because it'd be fun as fuck to be able to watch that. Yeah, it can like experience it almost again. Yeah, but just like for the me, show like, you just I, watched, I work you and can re-experience your stuff. Yeah, that'd like be there. sweet. I could get one of those and bring it to class, <laughs> yeah. so I could just sleep through class. That, and if I want to, I could. You as know, funny as that is, that wouldn't be that bad of an idea. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea anyway. Yeah. If you're yeah. like still taking notes, paying attention. Oh yeah. Just, just to have the lecture there. Mm-hmm. That would be bad if I, you know. Yeah. It um, sounds like a lot of work though. You know, like maybe back when we like played football and stuff, we could like have like a like a small GoPro like attached to like oh, the helmet like where the two uh, screws are on the top. Put yeah. a tiny one there. Oh, that be Oh, that'd be sweet. That would. <laughs> Well, in like the NFL and practices and stuff. Yeah, like I think Adrian give, Peters. I saw yeah, I saw one of Adrian give, Peters. They give a lot of the running backs GoPros so they can see where they're looking. Yeah. Or quarterbacks. Yeah. They do it more yeah. with quarterbacks. Yeah, I've seen to that. see their progressions. Mm-hmm. To see where their they're looking and, and what they're seeing so they can go through it and show them from exactly what they were looking at. That that would that would have been like so beneficial that to would like be you know hugely beneficial. Yeah. Because you you can actually see what he's looking at. That's, you know, especially like from if he's looking at the wrong spot, you got to tell him, "Hey, look over here." Yeah, I mean, because the because uh, um, you know how we did. We had the uh, we had that you know big you know uh, thing up top. Yeah, sky the, cam. The, the sky cam, which you know that that helps. Uh, you looking know, looking at everything. Looking overall, at everything that's overall. Awesome, yeah, but, but when you want to see one, see what you can thing. see. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, GoPro you know, is perfect for that. Like, I'm not going to see what Greg's seeing because, you know, he's, you know, a exactly. good foot and a half taller than me. So it's, yeah. you know. and So you can, like, go and see what he's looking at when he's yeah, doing it. Yeah, and, you know, like, for, you know, for how short I am, I have, you know, and I had to, you know, read the read the linemen and all that stuff. It's, yeah. uh, at, you know, quicker pace. But before we alienate, you know, whatever viewers we have with, uh, you know, <laughs> local football talk and all that stuff. Yeah, GoPro would be awesome in a country concert situation. Yeah, that's what I've seen some people out there with them, and I was like, that would be the cool... I'd wear it to a bar all the time. <laughs> That'd be funny, yeah. Just, you know, so I knew what happened, because I never know what happens the next morning. <laughs> yeah. And You'll I'll have, like, like, sober where, you. Where, yeah. I'll be like, where the fuck was I? Or why did I say that? <laughs> oh. Or, like, if you leave your card somewhere, you know mm-hmm. where you left yeah. your card. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it sounds like a lot of work for that, though. Yeah. And um, as soon as I bring a GoPro to a bar, I'm breaking it. I'm yeah. just spiking that fucker. <laughs> this? I don't want to know. Yeah. It's none of my business what <laughs> happens when I'm blacked out. It's like drunk you and sober you are two different people. <laughs> yep. Hate that guy. Uh, no, uh, Troy, when you're talking about... Um, 
Bonnaroo or whatever. Like, I, I'd love to go to Bonnaroo, but for some reason, like, I would think it'd be cool to go to Burning Man once. I don't know why, but I, I was like, it'd be kind of cool. Just, you know, I, I'm not like a hippie or anything like that, but it'd be kind of... I don't know what Burning Man is. It's another music festival. Yeah, yeah, pretty much like out in the desert, too. Where they, uh, that'd be kinda there's cool. a shit ton of if music it festivals for our kind of music. Yeah. A shit ton. Yeah. But Bonner is just like the biggest. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. the biggest music festival in general now. Is it now? Yeah. yeah. Crazy thing is, Country Concert's like one of the biggest yeah, in the yeah. country, and it's in like a 20 minutes from home. Yeah. That's in the not middle crazy. of bumpfuck nowhere. How did that happen? How, how long has it been going on for? It's been going on like 30, 30 some years. Really? Yeah, it's been going on a while. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. What are the oldest people that were there? Oldest people there? There's like I've seen like stuff, yeah. There was like sixty, seventy year olds there. Really? Yeah, there's yeah. there's there's old a lot people. of the times the older people like that will get the reserve up front, like by the stage where they actually have chairs like set VIP up. Stuff. Yeah, the VIP section. Yeah, it it average I guess my it, it ranges from anywhere. What I was getting at is that is it more of a high school, college age? It's more of a middle age, like the average age to thirty. That's I'd say that's the majority. Okay. Like straight out of high school to like thirty, 30 or yeah. so. Yeah. That's I pretty much you. almost every music festival. Then I don't know if it'd be yeah. different at all. I got you. There's a little more. There, there's a decent amount of like older like husband and wife who go or something. Like there's a decent amount of that, but majority wise, it was like our age kind of people. I got you. It is. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a movie. The Bush. Yeah, a little bit of Bush. Yeah. Anyway. And it's coming. Oh, um so like kind of kind of keeping with like the uh the festivals and all that stuff. Um well kinda of like festivals like uh you know I'm I'm gonna be going to uh uh RTX, which is a Rooster Teeth Expo in Austin next year, for it, it's kind of like a uh, internet slash gaming kind of expo, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it's I don't know like, like Comic Con, kind of like Comic Con, but it I mean it it, it, ha, it has a lot to do with like uh, game development and stuff like that, and a lot of uh, internet. Um, Internet personalities are there too, and uh, a lot of like animators that I follow go. So it'll be like really cool. Yeah, that'd be it's cool. definitely more of a con atmosphere though. Yeah, which I I'm uh, I'm I'm totally excited for. Like, uh, I, I just I was like I just asked like mom like mom you know I don't I don't ever ask like you know go places like this. Is it cool if I you know go here? She's like yeah sure like as long like especially because it's you know around the stuff you want to do of course. Where's yeah. that? Okay. Austin. Austin's like the best city. Yeah. By the way. Yeah, that's that's why I heard it. That's why I hear. It's... Houston's awesome, but it's so big. Mm-hmm. There's so many people in Houston. Like Austin is like one eighth of the population, if that. Yeah. And the culture there is incredible. Like the music scene is probably top it's, five it's, music scene yeah. in the entire country. Yeah, it's it's one. That's the... where South by Southwest is, and yep. that's yep. actually if I were to go to one thing, it'd be like, South it'd by South by yeah. because it's not just music. Like they have. They do like they have movie stuff too. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a film festival there too, yeah. And it's music. South by would be so, amazing, and it's art. So like yeah, like all of it at once. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've I've heard so much about it too. They even have like uh, indie gaming stuff there yeah, too. Yeah, South by is fucking huge. Actually, that might that's probably bigger than Bonner now. Yeah. South by. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like. But like you have to fucking like if I were to go to South by this year, I would have had to have already bought my hotel. Which like, uh, it's already gone. Which I was gonna talk like say with when I brought up my mom like she's like yeah like uh, you know you have you have to get or I I said something about you know like whenever they're gonna uh, you know release you know the tickets or the badges or whatever I'll have to you know do that immediately but um, you know and I have to get like a hotel or whatever she's like oh don't worry about that we'll just we'll just switch our uh, timeshare to Austin you can just have a condo. What are you kidding me? You have yeah, timeshare. Austin? Uh, yeah, mom, mom, and Aaron will just switch our chime share from wherever it was because we don't usually go. Uh, they they don't usually go uh, 
many places, so it's like, yeah, we'll just switch to Austin for, for that for you, and you can just, you know, stay there instead. That's awesome. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. I'm going to party. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, you Bring know. back randos. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know. I, I you know they're going to be into the same kind of stuff you're into, so that's already a you know, like, That's why cons are so cool. Yeah. Like, the same as music festivals and stuff. Like, you're just yeah. around people with similar interests and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You that's why I love, have that in common. That's yeah. why I love going to concerts so much. And, like, that's, like, the yeah. one place I can actually meet people. And, like, I'm not scared to talk to people. It's yeah. concerts. Yeah. Because so I'm not intimidated. No. Yeah. That's what they know too. Yeah. yeah. I'm not intimidated at all at concerts. To meet yeah. people. See, I that's you know that's uh, with uh, with what Rooster Teeth is. I mean, I don't know how familiar you guys are with it, but like, um, you know, it's uh, I, I talk about them a lot. They're pretty much the guys that just it's it's this company now. It's a it's a it's a uh, it's a production company that started as five guys just playing Halo and just like uh, making making it like an internet car or yeah. an internet show out of it and now it's like a, a business with like 60 so like um uh employees that make multiple uh shows mo- multiple content Channels. and uh you know they they're they're like a huge presence on the internet now and they have like their own social media and uh they they're they're really big in the community and so that's why they made RTX which it's only been around for uh, I think three or four years and they had 30,000 people last uh, Jesus, Jesus yeah last uh, it was like two weeks ago too for 14 so it'll be a year it'll be a year from now when I go yeah. next year so that's what I was reading an article the other day country concert that weekend alone <clears throat> brings the local economy of like Fort Laramie and the surrounding towns, like hotels, yeah, everything included, like gas, food places, brings in fourteen million dollars in revenue to that's, the area. That's incredible. That's that's completely separate from like their sales and stuff at country concert. Just the surrounding area, fourteen million dollars. That's incredible. Brought in just from country concert weekend. See, if Fort Recovery would have real. something like that, even like something that we wouldn't half have the size, enough size we would, for <laughs> anything like that. No, I, I, I'm just saying, like, if oh, we would you have something like a country like concert out at Ambassador Park, <laughs> there's plenty of room. No, I, I'm just saying, like, you know, like, then we could have nice things. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'd have more than one stoplight. <laughs> yeah, maybe two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, guys. We're getting pretty, uh, getting pretty greedy there. That's well, just ridiculous. Well, one real one, then one just flashing one. <laughs> that's what we have right we now. Have that is. Two flashing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, that's two legit. The one that Pakistan curve could use one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, we live in a very. Call we, your we, city we councilman. City council. Your village councilman. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even call it a city. Uh, is that Miley Cyrus? Is that right? Big little eyes. Could be. Just, this is so weird. I, <laughs> I, I don't pay attention. I haven't paid attention in 45 we, minutes. Yeah. I've been paying attention just enough to know that there hasn't been any more sex scenes. <laughs> I've kept my eye on that, and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you got some sassy ladies. So. Yeah. We were actually like sounding like a podcast for the most part. So, yeah, yeah, you know. not bad. Yeah, I, I like that. You know what? We should try that. We should just you know put on more movies like this. Where I, I mean, we like, watch a ton of bad movies. I know, but we have more to talk about. Yeah, like this was just so crazy that it's this kind is of just out of control. Yeah, like they just started making this and then it just spiraled down. Yeah, they yeah. did had no control over where it went. Absolutely not. It's but yeah. So it forces. It doesn't. It's not that it forces. It's just you know, we naturally go into just talking about whatever's you know on our minds. But you know, uh, the viewers might not see it as big of a gap. But it's been quite a while since we've done one of these. Yeah. Like, it's we've been on like a three week hiatus. Like, uh, yeah, we recording. haven't done one in three weeks. Yeah. Even though we posted one, it'll be two weeks ago when this one comes out. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, I mean, I, I, I just, 
I just finally came back and started my new quarter. I had a three-week break, which is my longest break uh, for my school and for the summer. And so, I'm I'm back. I'm glad I'm back though. I like. See, you like the city. No, I I do, but I also like doing things. I like when I was at home, it was either working at Hall Brothers or doing nothing. Yeah. And boring, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. I, I I don't know. I mean. Hall Brothers is the best thing I could ever fall back on, but it's just something I don't want to do. No, I, I do like the city. I, I do like Cincinnati. Um, I don't know. I like being able to go to school and see my friends, whatever ones I have, and then coming here and doing podcasts. So, yeah, it is what it is. Let's, uh... I would say what's going on here, but that's pretty much you could say that for any part of this movie. Yeah. Who knows? There's got to be about over, though. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, take a, take a gander. Touch, touch the thing. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding. Wow. Hopefully that's only 15 minutes with Chris. <laughs> Man, I think two people worked on this, so... <laughs> what the fuck? This... Honestly, don't have any idea what's going on. I can't wait to see what the what the uh, um, rating for this is. It's got to be god awful. It's it might be the worst one we've ever seen. It's up no, there. Dude. It's not by the far, by far. The Black Knight Returns is the worst movie I've ever I, seen. I and you weren't here for that, but that was hands down the worst movie. It was literally like somebody yeah. taped it with a VHS camera. It was it was the worst movie, but I had more fun watching that than the really boring uh, one. Definitely, but it was still the worst. That yeah. was the worst movie I ever yeah. saw. Yeah, yeah. It made Birdemic look Bird- not good. It's like an Oscar. But yeah. it made it, 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 it was just better than Birdemic. Or it was worse than Birdemic. Yeah, which Birdemic was the worst movie. Yeah. I don't know how if you even paid attention you could follow this because this is just so out there. Uh, but you know there's someone out there that this is their favorite movie. <laughs> they watch it every Sunday afternoon. This is one of those movies that we're gonna post about this and one of the people that worked on it will, you know, tweet us back because this is probably one of those movies that was their magnum opus to them, oh, and this just is wanna, the baby. Yeah, they just want to. They just want to, you know, look on, you know, Twitter or whatever for any mentions. I really hope this movie, like with all the weird stuff, is actually good and it has like a six. That'd be hilarious to me. <laughs> that, that that would. It's like what <laughs> were we missing? Yeah, no, we must have really missed some deep shit. <laughs> We're almost over. No, we still got a half hour. You kidding me? No. Well, half hour with credits, so yeah, probably fifteen yeah. minutes. Yeah. Sure hope so. I sure hope the credits are twenty five minutes. Then we just lost. There's creatures and lights. Every and time they have like one of those little like white text things, I feel like they're gonna start a music video. <laughs> that would be better than what this is. <laughs> Oh, like there's just so many of these where it's just like random lights and stuff. I don't even know what to call it. It's just stuff. I haven't seen any of these pirates they're talking about. I don't know. Maybe it's like butt pirates. That's what it is, probably. She's like a huge star now. Yeah. She left that one girl mm-hmm. to be a star. Well, she's really good at doing one bending motion. And saying, hey, that always works. Mm-hmm. Just See, saying, hey, as we she, She's me. only staying sideways. That is the laziest. <sighs> oh, there's the Shakira part. The the, the the singer isn't even that good. Like whoever's like actually no, singing. Perry, you should remake this movie. <laughs> Reimagining. I uh, I don't know. Like 
Anything you did would be better. <laughs> Anything. It's, like, I wish... I don't so, know. Here. Please be over. Go black, be over. <laughs> and see girl credits, please. Uh, no, Keep uh, pulling out. No. Keep, Keep pulling out. Pulling That's out. all we ask. Keep pulling out. <laughs> No, we're back. We try to get out, but they keep pulling us back right, in. We're with the pirates. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> it's Kevin Durant and the Bat Lady. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Definitely Morgan Freeman. Every that black is, man is Kevin Durant. No doubt about it, Morgan Freeman. All of black men are, are Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and he's got the freckles. <laughs> yeah, he does. They definitely made that Morgan Freeman. Yeah. It even looks like him identical. That bat thing is just unsettling. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. I'm gonna have some fucked up dreams tonight after watching all this uh, psycho shit. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm like 20 minutes into episode one of season two. Oh yeah. I'm trying to finish that episode, and I don't know if I can. Of oh, what? This mo- this show that's fucking incredible. Oh, the show you were talking about? Yeah, Black yeah. Mirror. Holy yeah. fuck. I'm going to have to watch the season one, episode one. You didn't do that last night? Did you go home last yeah, night? Yeah, I did. You ended up driving home last night? Yeah. I got home about three. Did you get your car fixed? No. Did you I switch just had your to, car? I just had to get an estimate so I can have that figured out. Yeah. How much? Uh, 1200 But the other guy's insurance company is coming out. On Monday or Tuesday, they're gonna evaluate it themselves. Do it themselves. Give an estimate then. And then I think they're gonna just write me a check then. Then if it's more than what their estimate is, then they said they take care of it with my insurance or whatever. So after I get the check, I'm done dealing with it. How bad is it? Like, does it look bad? No, I mean, yeah, it's bad, but it's only, I'm really pumped in place, and that's about it. So it could have been a lot worse. Taylor was, was in an accident. I was in a car crash. <laughs> really? Monday. Yeah. Yep. Oh, man, what happened? The guy hit me. I wasn't paying attention. He hit me and spun me. Oh, shoot. He spun me into oncoming traffic. Where, where at? On, uh... Getting on to 275 off of 75. Okay. They like curved and there was stopped cars. Ugh. So like I slowed down, the guy just wasn't paying attention. And it hit me and spun me around. Yeah. And there was a truck coming straight at me. Luckily he stopped in time. Oh man. That's... Otherwise my car would have been about a <laughs> chunk of metal. Wow. About two feet thick. That's with me somehow in there. <laughs> <laughs> was it a semi? No, just a big old pickup fucker. truck. Big old four and a, for different pretty. For an F team thousand. <laughs> yeah, so I got pretty lucky. Yeah. I could have easily life. died on Monday. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you didn't. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to do this podcast then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what you were thinking. would have thinking. lost a valuable That's piece of podcast. That's what I was podcast. hoping. As soon as I got hit, like, please don't die. I got a podcast to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have to live for the podcast. Oh, dude, I was, I was looking today, and uh, some of, we have one podcast that has, like, 80 views. Like, a really? recent what? one. Yeah. Really? One that's from like four weeks ago. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, Atlantic Rim has like 80 views. Really? Yeah. I don't even know if you were here for that one. Probably not. Uh, I think that was one with like Garmin and Josh. But Might that, have been. That one had 80 views. The one right after, I can't, I can't remember which one it so was. So we're starting to, you know, get the ball rolling. No, because the last three have only been like 15. Yeah. But for some reason, we had a spike, like three of them. Like one of them was 50, the next one was like 80, the next one was 50, and then it went back to like 15. Until this one. <laughs> this one's going to be like... This will get them. 500,000. 500,000. Yeah. How awesome would that be if one of them just blew up? Oh, kind of speaking of views, like I, I, I took a look at my uh, 
um, view count for uh, uh, Imagination Sucks on um, on Newgrounds. Yeah, I think it. I think last time I checked, like it was like about like a week ago, it was uh, up to seven thousand views. Nice. Yeah. Jesus. Have you seen that one? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well, it helps that it's short too. Yeah. 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 It's just it's a short little thing I did. Um, but yeah, I was I don't know I was pretty happy about it and. Uh, how um, much is that on YouTube? Last time I checked, it was like three fifty. Really? That was a long time ago. Really? No, I, I don't think there's. I don't think I it's so. as many on YouTube. Um, you know, because Newgrounds is like a Flash animator community. Yeah. You know, so it's, and you know, and there's just it, it, and on YouTube it's like even more oversaturated. You yeah. know, where what was it like so many hours get like posted every second or something like that? It's. It's yeah. It's I don't know. It's hard to get views on YouTube. It really is. I mean, yeah. Um, but yeah, I we're mean, gonna we're gonna make it though. Yeah, we should. We, we I are. should really install <laughs> iTunes on here. And, and we should. Do that. We really should. Um, There's oh, really no reason not to. Yeah. Uh, what I, for? Because you'll get just, more views. That just way. have another venue to yeah. listen. Well, put so it on so Yeah, make a podcast on iTunes. Yeah. Um, I told you about this, Troy Keller. Um, I was uh. I was running last week, and yeah, no, I, I know I didn't believe him either. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I realize I'm getting kind of fat, so I need to start doing something. Hey, that's the truth. Killer doesn't say anything to me ever. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, Anywho, fat ass. <laughs> anyway, so um. I, I was running. You were thinking about running. I was running. Day. All right. You were watching and someone run the other day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Believe it or not, I was running. Okay. I don't well, believe it. I don't. I don't okay. believe it. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but continue with your fable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a getting to be a tall tale. <laughs> I start what? <laughs> I shouldn't even start it that way because now yeah, the rest you, of it won't even. in your whole lies. Okay. Anyway. Now, where's your nest? Let me see that. Listen. <laughs> Pinocchio. <laughs> Listen. All right. Okay. Uh, Just don't start by saying you're running. Okay. Get, so get right into the sprinting. girth of it. I don't know. Get right into the girth of it. Okay. Basically, I ran into Phil Wood. You ran? Okay. That's a figure of speech now. You guys know you, you know who Phil, Phil Wood is. Yeah. yeah, he's the he's the artist of Full Recovery, and we you know we we're just talking, and uh, you know he's seeing he sees some of my stuff on Facebook. You know he's you know um, says he likes it, giving me tips and stuff. We just we were talking for like good you know uh, twenty minutes or so, and we got talking about um, podcasts because uh, I was saying something about um, working with audio and stuff for my for my stuff. He's like, oh yeah, I got I got an audio st- I I uh, I got an audio studio in um in my garage that I just made. I have like all the uh, and he showed me it's really cool. He has all like the foam and everything in this little room, and he has like this big mixing board, Jesus. and uh, yeah, apparent. And he was telling me that he and his one buddy of his from Salina, like, go to you know this. In, in his room here, like there in Fort Recovery, and do a podcast like every week. And they just talk about anything they think is interesting. And um, he invited me, like, he's like, if you're ever like here on a weekend, you can, you know, come in and, you know, uh, talk if you want. I'm like, oh, sure, that's awesome. Um, and maybe get some, you know, things for, maybe get some more understanding so we can maybe improve ours somehow. Yeah. But, uh, he was telling me that him and his friend, you know, were just doing it for fun. They have it on iTunes, and um, out of nowhere, it shot up to, like, having about 2,000 views uh, an episode. And, um, which, you know, isn't a lot for a lot of podcasts, but especially one for just two random guys in full recovery yeah, and just talking about anything. Yeah, Probably the most popular podcast out of full recovery. Uh, the only podcast in full second. Re- we're we're based in we're based in Cincinnati. Yeah, <laughs> but we're from Fort Recovery. Yeah, well, yeah, but Fort Rock. I wonder if we are second. We probably are. I don't know anyone. Easily second. Who else? Would That's what I'm wondering. Do you think anybody else does it? Yeah. No. I I don't I don't think so. I think if they did, 
then it, they would be posting about it on Facebook and one of us would have heard about it. Yeah, yeah, one of us would have. Because we post everything on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. There was, we have like 11 followers on Twitter. That's funny. We gotta get the, that shit up. Yeah. The, well, the last part of the story I was going to say was uh, his buddy was going, was in Lima and he was getting some like, uh, I don't know, some sort of recording, uh, you know, device that they needed. And... Uh, uh, he was talking to the guys, he was purchasing it, and he was, I don't know, they, they got talking, and they, he's, he started, he was talking about, like, some, some, like, time travel or something, and that's, and he's like, yeah, uh, speaking of which, I actually, like, listened to, uh, listened to, uh, a podcast where some guys were just talking about, uh, talking about time travel, time travel, uh, like, a week ago, and he's like, oh, really, what, what podcast is it, and then he's like, uh, this one, he shows them, it's their podcast, no shit. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that, that's 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 me and my buddy's podcast. It's like, no, really, yeah. So that's that was just kind of cool. So yeah, that'd be awesome. Run into someone like you don't know that fan. Like, you listen to yeah, it. yeah. So I don't know. That was really cool. Like yeah. how he said that. And in a way, it could almost be promotion for our podcast. You know. Yeah. I could I could promote our podcast. Yeah, just like Definitely. toss it in there. Yeah, I mean. It, throw it, the Twitter it, handle. Throw the Facebook name. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Tip it out. So I don't know. That, that's that's cool though. Like We're I thought it was definitely really cool. gonna have to like do a legit podcast, like no movie. I think like, we should. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Fun to do. Yeah, I mean we can have something playing in the background like this. Yeah, because but, like not even talk about it. Really. Yeah, um, you know we could just you know get some beers or something and just you know I like that. I like that. You know, I just. Too drink and stuff and just you know have a good time and all set up on that table yeah put the mic on that I, I think it'd be perfect you know have the condenser have some talking points that we discussed I think we should try it next week I think we should I don't, I don't I, care I, yeah we should I'd give a shot um just you know we'll have to have things to talk about you know just all I have to That's do is like talking points, through just yeah talking. I mean, like most These things, we know we want to talk about a little bit, yeah. and then from there, just let it go. Yeah, because we'll we'll automatically get the tangents and stuff anyway. You know, yeah. I mean, in fact, we get the tangents just watching this stuff. I mean, not even watching anymore. But oh yeah, but yeah. It, 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 I think it'll be easier than you know what we originally thought it would be. Then we can get on full on arguments about different topics. And yeah, yeah. Make smart comments about stuff. Yes. And, yeah. As smart as we can possibly be, but uh, absolute. Yeah, no, I I think it'd be fun. Let's let's try it next week. I'd give it a shot. Yeah. So podcast uh, seventeen is gonna be. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna actually try to. Uh, a legit uh, podcast. Yeah, do a legit podcast. So it's just gonna be three guys, no projector. Oh, we'll we'll start projector. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll, I, I guess we'll have it. it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um. And it. it, it it's funny because whenever I listen to some of the podcasts that I listen to, um, whenever I get done with like a lot of the new ones, you know, sometimes I like going back and listening to old ones and like listening to like what was relevant at the time. Yeah. So, you know, it'd be kind of cool if we do that, like maybe a couple months later, it's like, oh yeah, you know, this was relevant at the time. Um, yeah. like Troy, Troy and I were just talking before we got here about how awesome Planet of the Apes was. Yeah, Have I could seen? talk for 20 minutes about Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah. Have What's you that? seen it, Keller? Which one? The new one. The new no, Planet of the Apes. No, no, no. He watched the the other day. Uh, he came home and I was watching the... Uh, the first of the... the no, the original. Oh, the original. I was like, watching the original 1968 awesome. version. Yeah. I didn't see like a lot of it. He just it, watched like the last 40 minutes or so. Awesome. It's sweet. Yeah. I have yet to see that one, believe it or not. I, it literally reminded me of sitting him Saturday or Sunday afternoon with my dad while he was watching his John Wayne Western. <laughs> That's awesome. It was awesome. That's so cool. Um, it's super awesome. Like the the only thing with that movie that I don't like is that the poster gives away the, it spoils the end of the movie. It does. It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Because um, it has the it has thing, that on the it. thing right there in the poster front, that which is the one. last shot in the entire movie. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like the biggest reveal, one of the biggest reveals in cinema history, and it fucking shows it on the goddamn poster. Yeah, like why? It's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you need to watch it though. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd, try try yeah. watching it before next week, yeah, so we can. Happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not doing anything this week. I'll know. go see it again. I can do that. Because there's a 
Zach Braff's new movie comes out this weekend, which I really wanted to see, but What's it's only that? it's it's oh, called Wish I Was Here. You know who Zach Braff is, right? Scrubs guy. Scrubs guy. J D. Gotcha. Yeah. We were just he, talking about Scrubs. Yeah, he had a movie <laughs> that was called Garden State, and it's like this huge cult classic movie. And so I've this is his it. first movie. You've never watched it? I, I've never watched it. Oh I've my god, it, dude, it's I'm... amazing. It's so good. <clears throat> but uh so he's this is his second movie. He wrote and directed that Garden State and he wrote and directed this one and kickstarted it and stuff. And that comes out this weekend, but it only opens in like twenty cities and it's not one here, so I thought I was gonna see it this weekend, but I'm not, so I could totally go see Planet of the Apes again. Yeah, my weekend is free. What am I doing this weekend? I wanna go tubing really bad. I'm trying to get AJ to come too. I can do tubing. Oh yeah, we can have AJ come and do I'm the trying podcast. to get him on the podcast, but he keeps bailing yeah. last minute he, on us. He's dodging. He is. Mm. Well, that and you're like you said, your friend that might come and pod. But uh, yeah, I think he would rather do a movie one. Yeah, but he's he has he's interesting. He'll have good takes on whatever we yeah. do. Though. I mean, like when I met him, he seemed pretty cool. Yeah, he is. Seemed to mesh, but uh, yeah, I, I, that, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of excited for this now. Best thing, not that I'm not excited best for thing every book, for yeah. us if we do a podcast is like all three of us have very different views on a lot of different yeah. subjects. Yeah. So you, it, you have that give and take, that argument. Yeah. It's not like we're all one, yeah, you know, we're not the one same single people. Yeah. I represent the rednecks of the world. Mm-hmm. What does Troy represent? Depressed people. Depressed. What do very, I represent? Uh, low outlooks and low self-esteem. <laughs> very pathetic. <laughs> 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 Keller's the redneck partier. Perry's the artist, and I'm just the uh, fat artist. The fat, <laughs> the fat Perry, the, Perry, just what we'll is call him? Fat son. <laughs> <laughs> Screw and, y'all. And, and then that depressed fat douchebag hipster Perry. Yeah, that's how we'll introduce him to the podcast next week. <laughs> Absolutely. Here with uh, Troy Keller and fat douchebag <laughs> art hipster artist Perry. <laughs> Hey guys! <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. That's me. <laughs> you know it. Uh, I'm gonna start going like bulimic now. <laughs> like if anyone, like if if for some reason this ever gets like popular and people start, you know, and like, were you, were were you the fat one? <laughs> you, were, you were the fat one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. You lost a lot of weight, man. <laughs> see, that's that's a thing that you oh, should. That, that, see, no, see, but no, nobody knows that. I know. No, everyone no. thinks you're actually like fat. Yeah. So then, if you ever need a fan, then you're gonna automatically get complimented. Yeah, yeah. Like, They're like, man, you're looking really well, you're, good. Yeah. You, what have you been doing? Uh, well, I, I, I gained <laughs> five pounds <laughs> since that last podcast. Uh, what? I, that, you know what? I thought about that. I wonder what, like, the again, what I don't the think we have... We look like? Yeah. We don't have many viewers, <laughs> well, maybe one or well, two. Here's what our, they probably think We have of our logo that but, has a little bit, but... A little uh, bit, but, uh, I mean... Yeah, I mean, that could be on any kind of body type, too. Yeah. You know? So... Uh, yeah, what? What? Uh, yeah, I they probably remember. think I'm a twelve year old. <laughs> what? Why? Because I sound like a twelve year old, and I look like a twelve year old. That's true. <laughs> what? What? What do you I think? Have, I, I have no idea what they think I look like. It's hard for us to know because we've known each other pretty much all of our lives. Yeah. So, it's like hard to picture. You know, throw it out there on Twitter if we have any followers. <laughs> Which are all people we know. They're all like oh, all yeah. the followers that we have. I don't. I honestly don't think we've gotten one more follower since we started the podcast. No. I think the, all the followers we have are like Garmin and Josh and like Jordan and David. Just from when they started following us, from when all we did was tweet what movie we were watching that night and what yeah. flavor hookah we were smoking. <laughs> That's all that Twitter account was at first. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I would be really interested to know that though. If someone listen, there is anyone out there. Draws, yeah, draws tweet it and at tweet us. it at us. Tell us what you think we look like. According to this podcast, I'm just gonna be this huge. I hope you're like this huge, like <laughs> blogger looking guy with a neck beard. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> gonna, <laughs> like with a hipster haircut and like. Uh, like a fedora paint, wearing paint brushes, like, paint brushes, yeah. <laughs> a fucking scarf. 
<laughs> like a a, blo- a mix between Bob Ross and Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's what I would think. <laughs> but with a much gayer haircut. With much, uh, yeah, much gayer. <laughs> like a combed over afro or something. <laughs> combed over afro. Um, I think the movie's over. Yeah. Eh, screw oh, it. We're, damn it. We're still talking. Who cares? Oh, uh, I missed the good part. Yeah, everyone has. Uh, what was I going to say? Keller, I, I think people would think there's no credits. Okay, never mind. There are credits. Okay, I thought there was. Oh, like, let's really quick. Yeah. Strange frame. Yeah. I'm gonna forget the name of that. I'm gonna IMDb it. You can continue. Talking. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, guess yeah, wait, wait. Quick. Yeah, hey, no, we gotta guess. We gotta guess. Uh, we gotta guess. Yeah. Um, what do you think, Bear? Uh, three point five. Kyler, before I type it in. One, two, four. All right, Troy. One, four, three. All right, four, so I'm in the three. middle. All right, okay. Ready? Oh, wait, that's the TV show. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Got it. You're not going to believe it. <laughs> oh, no. Let me see. It's going to be a five or seven. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fucking oh, see it. All right. First off, wait, this is, okay, don't there, tell there's us. There's only 1,400 votes. Okay, so it's going to be hot. Seven, nine. No <gasps> fucking way. No. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh. No fucking way. We need way. to sabotage that. Not sabotage, but we need to correct it. We need to correct it. That is garbage. That's seven, nine. Yeah. That is garbage. What? That is This is exactly what I said would happen. Garbage. We That's... just weren't paying attention. It was actually really awesome and artful and shit. <laughs> that is garbage. Oh. That is Bullshit. That's so bad. That's like four points higher than the next highest movie we've ever watched. <laughs> that's that so is bad. garbage. <laughs> Listen, that's so fucking pissed right now. <laughs> that's fucking God bad. damn it. <laughs> uh, but what were you saying, Perry? I was saying that I would think people, like, I, I think if someone was to depict what you look like, I'm thinking like overalls, oh, like yeah. <laughs> a straw hat or something. Or no, right, like right, like right. like a really battered uh, like baseball cap, like, like what I actually wear. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know. Like um, I, I riding around on my in my big jacked up truck. Like and 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 a beard, like but you can't grow out a beard. Like it's just like yeah, really like patchy. Scrub, yeah, really patchy. That's that's I don't know. Like I don't know. That's what I could imagine, but. uh yeah, that's this. I would is, love for someone to like guess. Yeah, you know if 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 anyone like watched you know my pilot episode, you know they just know you as a white bat, you as a cardinal, and me as a hummingbird. You know and that's what they draw and send into. It. <laughs> like that's what they look like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it, you know it's kind of cool. Um, uh, you know, like I say, I, I watch a lot of cartoons and. You know, without actually seeing, like, a lot of voice actors that do a lot of, like, cartoons. Some, okay, like, voice actors that do one specific cartoon that they're famous for. And then voice actors that, you know, do multiple, you know, smaller bit parts for cartoons. It's really interesting actually seeing them. You know, like, it's like, oh, that's what they look like. Well, that's the thing. Like, I'll listen to, like... Uh, Cincinnati Sports Talk Radio every once in a while. Yeah. And it's basically a podcast about Cincinnati sports. Yeah. And I hear the guy's voice all the time. I'm just like, all right, I have this image in my head. Then I, like, follow him on Twitter and see him. I'm like, holy shit, that's not at all. Yeah. I did the same with the one other podcast I would listen to on ESPN radio or something. Mm -hmm. Like, local radio. Yeah. And... There was like two guys, and I I followed them, and one of them was like kind of what I kind of expected, like skinny white guy, whatever. Yeah. The other one, I thought it was like this big fat white guy, like just <laughs> mobility scooter kind of. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Fucking ripped ass black guy. <laughs> I was like what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's that's so. Because funny. he talks like. Me or you would talk on the radio. Yeah, yeah. He talks like a white man. 
<laughs> talks Honestly, like a whitey. Yeah. <laughs> talks like a regular person. That, that's what I was like. Holy shit! Um, Did not see that coming. Uh, for 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 a couple of my classes, um, uh, in uh, like an audio class I had, I watched a we watched a documentary about you know prominent voice actors in the voice acting business yeah. and uh, you know people that can do multiple voices, not just themselves, but you know like. Uh, there was one whenever the lady that does Bart Simpson, you know, it's a chick, and you just, and she's from Dayton, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. And, uh, and she was saying, like, uh, whenever she, you know, meets little kids or something like that, or, um, you know, that are familiar with, or anyone familiar with Simpsons that isn't really, you know, that familiar with you know, knowing her, it's like, yeah, uh, like, if people, you know, ask, like, oh, what do you do, or something, or it goes up to little kids, like, oh, do you, uh, do you watch The Simpsons? They're like, you know, yes or no, depending on how good or bad the, the parent is. And I shouldn't let their five-year-old watch Simpsons. But anyway, um, it's like, oh, yeah, you know Bart Simpson? Yeah, yeah, uh, close your eyes. And then, you know, a kid or someone closes their eyes, then she does the Bart Simpson voice. They're like, what? Whoa, that's so cool. You know, it, yeah. yeah. Um, and, like, think of, like, Bobby Hill. Bobby Hill's a chick, too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and a, kind of a hot chick, too. It's, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Um, I, I seen someone on Twitter one time that had, like, there's, like, I had a couple different, like, voices. Or t- a couple different people who do, like, voices. Mm-hmm. And it had, like, 50 different characters yeah. on each one yeah. of them that they did. They, like, that's all they do is their voice actors. everywhere. And they, and they make, they make good money. Like, it's, oh, yeah. it's a hard gig to get into because oh, I uh, believe that um, Billy West is one of the biggest names in uh, voice acting right now, uh, it, like like in in this era. He's the guy that he does, I think, about half of the voices in on Futurama. He was Stimpy. He was uh, um, you know on Ren Stimpy, and uh, you know he was the Red M M&M, and M, amongst other things he did. You know and. Yeah, like- it's, it's amazing you never think, like, yeah. as many cartoons as you'll see or commercial animated stuff. Yeah. A lot of the voices are the same people. They just change yeah. this or that. Yeah. Like, you're, Which is unreal. Oh, it, it's incredible. It really is. Um, I would never be able to change my voice enough to do that <sighs> yeah. wide range of stuff. It, it's it's hard, man. Like, um, you know, so yeah, I mean, when, you have to be talented to do it. It is. It, you really do. It, it's it's a it's a talent that not a lot of people, you know, appreciate. Like, uh, yeah. whenever whenever like I actually just uh, got done doing a recording session for a new uh, cartoon I'm going to start doing. And uh, I had to have multiple voices in there and just normal voices like this, not like, you know, super cartoony or anything like that. Yeah. So I had to, uh, I had to, you know, bring in like one or two of my friends to just do like, you know, just a quick, you know, one or two lines just with their own voices. Because like you can just tell when it's just one person, especially if it, like it's a bad voice actor. Yeah. But, um, how, how familiar are you like with uh, like Futurama? Like, you know, a couple of the characters. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, you know Zoidberg, you know, you know, uh, the professor, and you yeah. know, uh, uh, Fry. They're all the same person. Yeah, that's unbelievable. It's, yeah. It's, well, look at Seth MacFarlane. Oh, yeah. Right, oh, right, Seth, right, yeah. How can I forget about Seth MacFarlane? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Look at just him alone. Yeah, like what? Uh, Peter, like Brian, Stewie, Quagmire. It's, and then a lot of the other, uh, you know, voices whenever they do cutaways. It's. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Yeah, he does all those. Yeah, it, like and it doesn't sound anything like. It's 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 awesome. It's <laughs> it really it really is cool. If you uh, have you ever seen the um, it, it was at Comic Con a couple of years ago. Now, I've seen this a lot of times because they played this a lot at my uh, like in some of my classes at school, where they do a read through of Star Wars and they bring like uh, they bring about like ten different really big voice actors. And, uh, you know, the people that are, you know, watching, it's a panel and, uh, they, they, they're like, all right, what, what cartoon or what, you know, voice do you want that person to do for whatever? And, uh, you know, for, for instance, like there's this one girl, really hot, uh, really hot, um, voice actress who does, uh, bubbles from Powerpuff Girls, super hot, 
but like uh, she has this, you know, really, you know, super high pitched voice is incredible, and she did Darth Darth Vader. So <laughs> it, it, it's a really it's a really uh, fun watch. Yeah. Um, but oh, I've seen like a couple YouTube videos. There's this one guy who sings like "Look at Me Now." Yeah, yeah, and with all, all the, the family guy. Uh, the yeah, family guy. I've seen. That I've one. seen another one that is like "Let It Go." Yeah. And he did like a fuck ton of like Disney characters, and it mm-hmm. was cool as fuck. Just yeah. because I don't never watch the movie, don't hate the song because I've heard it so many yeah, times yeah. all over the place. Mm-hmm. But just seeing like how wide of a range you can do. Yeah, he he's got to he's got to get like some sort of uh, you know money That's with it. Unbelievable. It's one thing. It's one thing to do like a voice. You know, like do. Doing Sing one, it too. yeah. It's it's one thing to like do like a simple catchphrase that you know, yeah. like uh, yeah. whenever someone says, "Yeah, I can do a good Mickey Mouse," they can only do "Oh," you know, yeah. "Oh, poor," you know. That's that's all they can do. They can't yeah. actually talk in the voice. Yeah. If they did, that's, that's what they can well, make. It's a lot mind. different saying catchphrases, copying, yeah, and actually being in character and singing. yeah, being able mm-hmm. to. That's what yeah, sets like them apart all, from every yeah. impersonation I can do is only saying lines that they can say. Yeah. yeah. Lines that you copy. Yeah. But not actually taking that voice. And, uh, and saying something it. in your own, I can't do that. Yeah. yeah that's, I can't do that at all. That's, the, and they even, they even said that too. Uh, the guy that does Porky Pig now, and, um, uh, he said that, you know, you, um, as voice actors, uh, some of these, some of these parts, um, have to be taught to you. You know, you have to you have to learn them. You have to study the voices, especially with like Porky Pig. Like that's, he's like, yeah, every such a hard one. he's like everyone, oh, like not everyone, but like a lot of people that say they can voice act and say that they can do a Porky Pig, they can do like a, that's all, folks, or whatever. But to really talk like Porky Pig, like you got to be you know, full in character. For that yeah, that's that's that. that's what you know. Yeah. Ha- make, gives him the money, you know, not just some some jack off walking down the street. A view, 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 that's all, folks. You know, that's yeah. it, it, it's crazy. Um, oh, and I don't know if you know, like you know the uh, the the uh, the original Joker voice, you know, for like the cartoon, all that stuff. You know, that's uh, like you you you've, you watch like the animated. You know, uh, I love that Joker voice, but that's I don't know if you know, that's the guy who uh, who's Luke Skywalker. Oh no, shit! Yeah, I can't, I can't remember his name. It's uh, Sky- Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. That's it. Yeah, he does a lot of uh, Batman stuff. Yeah, because he is the Joker voice. Yeah, he's the Joker most people know. That's awesome. Like TV show and stuff, and a lot of the yeah, a lot of the cartoons. He's he's the Joker in a lot of stuff. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's really trippy. Like. Um, I watch I watch a couple you know panels and stuff you know from Comic Con and stuff like this and stuff like RTX that I might be going to, and uh, I don't think we won't be there but you know stuff like that and uh, you know a lot of people are like uh, asking him to like say things you know in the Joker voice and it's just funny because you see this old guy looks you know just an old Luke Skywalker and then just like come out with that like. You know that 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 Joker that every most people know. It's it's just like, where did that come from? Oh yeah, he's the he's the creator of that. So it, yeah. it it's just so cool. It really is. Um, like I said, it's just it's one of those uh, uh, underappreciated um, talents. Yeah, not appreciated at all. Really? <sighs> yeah. Unless you're in that. <laughs> yeah. In that. <laughs> bless you, bless you. In that field or whatever. <laughs> Bless you. Oh God! God damn! <laughs> oh yeah. Well, there we go. All right. Gonna get a fifth one in there. Make it even, even, even five. Thinking about it. Yep. Five would yeah. be odd. Yeah, you can't Don't do that. Fuck. Five is the only even odd number if you think about it. No. It doesn't even make fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's, it's, um, okay. It's all right. This this is Perry. Wait, we didn't introduce ourselves. Oh we? yeah, this is Perry. <laughs> Try. And, and this we're signing off. This is Perry. <laughs> <laughs> this is Try. And, and uh, hopefully we'll do a uh, 
kind of a real podcast next week, so, you know. Yeah, we will see. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Later, later.